I can hear the bells dividing us. You can choose your side and who you trust. But if we feel each other's guiding lights, it'll turn our hearts into dust. When we become, we'll trap us in darkness itself. What is it for if we always lose ourselves? We could be brothers if you will lay your arms. If we didn't have colors to break us apart. Hold on to whatever makes you whole. Hold on and you might make it whole. in our hearts And all those burning flags are lighting up the sky And all of what we had is drowning in the ashes of the mice And I don't know Still alive Or did I see my soul out When you died Hold on To whatever makes you whole Hold on And you might make it home Hold on Is this the only way we know They are pushing us apart the darkness in my heart To today's live stream, I, I I was thinking maybe I should make a video on this, or maybe I should uh, stream, and I decided to stream, I guess. Uh, I'm low ever energy, because I s slept a bit, I didn't sleep much. Tell me if the mic is, audio is great, nice, thank you Jeff. Right, like, right on time. So, um, yeah, I, I'm guessing that streaming could be better when I'm low energy than making videos, because nobody wants to make, like watch a video that's like low energy so we're gonna hop straight into the game uh i just saw that there's gonna be a patch today so hopefully it's not gonna happen right now well here's the thing right good luck with uh invictus yeah i might need it all right so tell me if something bad happens with the stream because i'm loading the game up with my previous pc audio would like start crackling and everything would go to shit. But with this PC, like the game goes up to like four percent uh, usage on, on the CPU. So stay Buddha. Is that Buddha? I'm not sure. I, I can't really see the, the 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 thingy, the emoji. Okay, it might be crackly a bit. I, I saw some stuttering. How is your day, by the way? What are you guys doing? Oh, stay Zen. I I like playing as Zen Zenyada. In um, I almost said Star Citizen in Overwatch. Pretty good, pretty tired though, but pretty good. 
You're having an ultra lazy day as well. My man. Why though? Is the music too loud? Because maybe it's just too loud on my end. Should it go a bit down? Should I turn it a bit down? Oh, no, that's muted. There we go. I think this is better. I'm doing good, Scarred. How about you? Did you did you play Daisy uh, in the past couple of days? If you understand correctly, I also make music. Yeah. So the first song that you heard at the start, uh, it was my jam. It's on um, it's on my YouTube. Like, if you go to my homepage on YouTube, you're gonna you're gonna see it. So anyway, today's stream is all about this little game here. You listened to it? You thought it was cool? Yeah, I have I have like a bunch of music online. Uh, on my uh, YouTube channel and on my other YouTube channels. Uh, but it is in Serbian because I'm Serbian, right? So anyway, today's stream is all about a little old thing that I figured out yesterday. So I wanted to try the salvage missions. And first of all, like, this is all fine and dandy until they patch it because you know that they're going to patch it. Frame drops, great. 40, 90, 79, 50x fucking amazing but here's the thing so i started doing salvage missions with the reclaimer don't don't get the reclaimer it's super buggy uh your character is gonna disappear while like exiting the the seat i think the server died already like as soon as i joined no the server is fine it's just the elevator are they not working at all is this the other thing? Like, okay, so just only that one is not working. Okay, great. So, what's up, MP? Zdravo. Uh, for some reason, so, like, I'm I'm trying to run like a, a English speaking channel here, but whenever people figure out that I'm Serbian, they start talking to me in Serbian or Croatian or even Russian. There's like a guy that like kept on joining. Uh, he was Russian. He would only like talk to me in Russian, and I was like, "Dude, I do not understand Russian." Like they are similar languages, but Jesus Christ, they're not the same. Anyway, ten years of Star Citizen. Oh yeah, it's more. It's, it's more like twelve years of, of Star Citizen now. Well, this is a good start. Um. I do have a backup of uh, me like reacting to videos, which could be like better. Welcome. Guys, is this shit not working? Are the ASOPs like broken again? Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. All right, so um, that's the stream for today. Thank you for watching and. Uh, don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling to space, and goodbye. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Fucking hell, dude. Okay. Welcome. Honestly? Vehicle retrieval system. Honestly, I think that this is intentional, right? That's funny because you have a meta tag on Twitch that says it English. What are we talking about, Jeff? I'm not sure. No, it's 12 years of Star Citizen frogs. The game is fucked with the Invictus. I don't really think it's fucked because of the Invictus. All right, so this is not gonna happen. I was um, I was so stoked about this patch. Honestly, I was super happy. I really wanted to play it. I really can you not jump to Port Alistair with what MP? With like I don't have a ship. I cannot spawn my ship. 
European servers? You want me to switch servers? Should I do a Thunderdome like Mike did? <laughs> I don't have enough fucking followers for that, honestly. All right. Let me let me switch servers again, I guess. <laughs> Get a get a ride. I mean, who's gonna give me a ride when the like when nobody can spawn a ship? Let me try it. Let, let me just hop to, to another server, I guess. So basically, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you something that I think it's an oversight from them. Uh, because they released this because marketing said that they got to release a patch right now because of Invictus and all of that, and the patch wasn't ready. So if you got, like, salvage contracts, and if you went for, it, like, some people said to go for the illegal ones. Honestly, they're a bit too expensive. So yesterday, what happened to me, I went, I can show you a video, and that's it, because, like, the game is not fucking working. But what what happened was... After all the bugs, I, I almost gave up uh, because the reclaimer wouldn't work. Like everything, and I also had 30 keys. And uh, I also made a. Let me show you this. So I made a couple of posts on on Spectrum uh, about the claim times that need to be lowered, not raised. And th where's the other one? Yeah, so this is one of the things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, not having a server list renders PES and heartbeats useless. And the game is basically unplayable. And nobody saw the fucking post. So let me let me share this with you guys and you can share it uh, further if you want to. And this time, try the Aussie server. I guess I'll try everything. So anyway, I went I went off on, on like a, a couple of salvage mission contra uh, contracts and I had my vulture because the reclaimer is so like scuffed that you, you do, just don't use it. It's a four hundred dollar bullshit uh, ship that doesn't work. Still, it still does not work. Like it's so buggy. It's 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 it, it's funny and like it's it, it just like you laugh at it how buggy it is. Okay. Speaking of bugs, so it. So anyway, anywho. Anyway, anyway, so yesterday I went for, like uh, for the salvage missions with the vulture. This is all fine. This is all dandy. This is just star citizen being star citizen, right? That like we are used to it. So. Um, there I went and I like uh, grabbed all the guns and it's deja vu all over again. Yeah, I know, right? So um, guns are worthless. Uh, the worst part about it, and I talked to Mike about this uh, on his pod podcast, uh, and the explanation that he gave me was just stupid. And like, I'm not calling him stupid because he just told me what they said. Apparently, in one of the eyes, uh, I wow. ICs or uh, Star Citizen Lives. The elevator is fucking amazing, as per usual. So, the thing is, you salvage the ships, you can take off the weapons and components, but there are no, like, salvageable ships with components yet. And you cannot store them in the ship. Like, you can you can drop them into the ship, but you cannot store them into the inventory of your ships. And it, you cannot store them into your inventory or the inventory of the uh what you call it of the station so it renders the whole fucking thing useless honestly and like what a pointless mechanic right and if you try to like sell them i have a screenshot somewhere on my ah it's gonna take me a while to find like there's a bunch of people talking to me in my, in my discord so let me just try this before i continue talking welcome to the asop vehicle system Oh, Auburn, you the man. So, should I get the Corsair maybe? 
Forcer is pretty good for, for this, I think. You're gonna see what I'm doing in a second. MSR? Corsair? No, Corsair. Fuck the MSR. Too many doors. So, what happened was I went with the uh, Vulture. And I uh, scooped all the, like, scraped the whole hull and all of that. Uh, got some money out of it, but... Once I hit the Cuddy and the Freelancer and those missions with like a bit bigger ships like Andromeda's and all that. Those ships started like spawning loot on them. And not, I'm not saying like loot like weapons and all that but like... Um, what are they called? Container boxes, right? One SU boxes. Don't get too excited yet but you're welcome. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting too excited like I know what's gonna happen anyway. But um... I had maybe, I had like 12 SUs of, of like salvage materials or RMC, and then I had like, I think more than 12 SUs of cargo. I passed the terminal boss. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we'll see, I guess. So anyway, I went to sell that, and I th realized that the shit that it gathered from... Uh, one ship, because like one cutty was completely full, like it had like 30 something SUs. I cannot, I like, I couldn't take all of it with me. And it got, let me see. So when I started, I had 30,000 Alpha UEC, and one run made 110,000 Alpha UEC for me. And the thing is, I only got like 10 to 12 boxes. We're talking about drugs, not like it's not all it's not only drugs. So there's there's a couple of different crates. The green crates or containers, uh, as far as I can tell, spawn like organic materials or whatever, which sell for like stupendous amounts of of, of uh, alpha UEC. Then you have the gray ones, which are mostly like ores, which you can't do like you cannot uh, um Take them to the refinery so uh, uh, you can get them uh, refined. So that's not going to work. And then you have um, the third kind, which is like white and blue. And those white and blue spawn either drugs or some like low cost materials. So it's it's like a, a bit of a hit and miss, honestly. But the green boxes are where it's at, at least from my, um, if I remember correctly. But I guess we'll see in a second if the game works, of course. Sorry to make you sad, but the game is totally broken right now. It's a chance that you can play for a while at Australia servers. Not for long, since, since often 30 keys. Welcome so, the, the, the game is completely system. fucking broken, honestly. Anything that has, that doesn't have brown markings is worth pretty much. Huh. Really? So even this, like the, the silver gray crates? Yeah, we cannot sell the refined ores. No, yeah, we cannot sell or refine ores from the cargo grid. That is true. See, but silver and gray is RMC when it's in my ship. But when I picked it up, it was uh, it was just ores, because I have it like left in my. Actually, let, let me test this out because my vulture still has shit inside of it. Stand by. Yeah, I wanted to say the game is completely broken because of the 30 Ks. Uh, apparently, they're gonna roll out a 0.1 patch today, um, and I'm not like. They're probably going to fix this, and that's probably why they're uh, uh, pushing the point one patch during Invictus. Because they, from what I know, they never did this. Like, in the three and something years that I have been playing this game, they never rolled out a patch during Invictus or any other, like, live big event like IE or Invictus or whatever. Uh, <coughs> physics. So yeah, I was talking about, about these gray containers, right? So they they look like our uh, RMC, 
but they shouldn't be. And this green one, I gotta sell this. Um, this green one should make you a lot of money. Actually, let me sell this. Let me show you how much this sells for. So, basically what I'm suggesting for you guys to do, uh, if you want to make some quick buck before they patch this out, uh, just take those salvage missions, go for them without a salvage ship, and just go for the uh, for the big big ass green crates. Honestly, so I didn't know where we can sell uh, the green crates. I made what is it? I already forgot. What was it? A hundred and ten uh, thousand alpha you've seen like. Something that could have been like five minutes of work, five minutes of playtime. So that's pretty good. I did like waste my time because I uh, did the whole salvage thing. But then uh, I remembered that Mike told me during our uh, podcast uh, on his channel that you can sell the organic materials for quite a lot. And as far as I know, you do it uh, on the, like, in the scrapyards. But we'll see in a second. What's up, little Mario? Glad to see you actually playing more. I mean, I'm trying. Uh, the game doesn't like me, honestly. I don't think it, like, likes anyone. Roll out to what? Wave 2? No, they want to roll it out, like, today. They want to patch it and have, like, 319.1. Like in the PU. They will not release 319 during Invictus 319.1, but another build is playing for the PTU today. Are you sure about that? Did I real like read that wrong? Give me a second. We have a new... Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I just woke up. You're completely right. Alright, so we gotta find the salvage thingy. But you know what? I'm pretty sure they're gonna nerf this. Um, whenever uh, point one patch drops. Oh, it's here, yeah. Fucking forgot that it's different. Yeah, it, it's... it's pro uh, So, it says we have a new 319.1 PTU build cooking for release today with, infuri uh, with improvements to fury rotation performance and fuel tuning as well as fixes for some major mining issues. So, I guess it's gonna... May maybe it's gonna be... Uh, going maybe it's gonna go into the open ptu i don't know yeah so youtube has delay so I, i'm already telling you that i was wrong and you were right but you're still being confused <laughs> which is a bit weird dude i gotta i gotta fucking so my my i just set my controls but didn't set all of them so Where's the wipe, foip, head tracking, quick keys, interactive camera? It's not camera. Recenter, that's cool. Where's the one for like moving your head around? Because it's for some reason it's bound to my right stick. Which. Which doesn't work when I have my Toby enabled. But I don't have it enabled because you guys were going to get uh, motion sickness. Especially because I'm, I'm too far from Toby and uh, it's not movement. Where is it? You? It is. All right. There we go. Center it. There we go. Cool. Contact. 
that it's it's just a, an NPC. It's fine. When the game is unstable, the only safe option to gain cash is to do bunker missions. You can go, you can go with only an undersuit and a pistol. Um. I mean, yeah, but is it fun though? It's not fun. Honestly, I was fed up when, with Star Citizen for a while, for more than a year. I just didn't want to play it. 317, I started playing 317 and then I stopped and like the whole patch cycle of like one year, almost one year, I didn't play it. Then we got um, 318, nobody played that patch because it was completely fucked. So, I was really excited for 319, honestly. And I really wanted to play it. I did have such a bad time in the last couple of days. Because of all, all the 30Ks and all of that. No, this, these are shields. Where's my engines? There we go. Shields go up, please. Thank you. So yeah, unfortunately I had a really bad time with it. Uh, I had a bunch of 30Ks. I had um, my character com completely disappearing. What the fuck? It looks like somebody just left this cutty here. Well, let me see. Vulture. 5,000. Not that good. Now this. 112,000 Alpha UEC for one box. And that was the green box. I'm pretty sure. So, Gasping Weevil Eggs, and uh, it's like Weevil Eggs and some Hide, whatever. They're going to be in the green boxes. And we can check it, uh, check them out. So, I'm going to sell this, and if the green box is not there, it's going to be this. Let's go back to the thing and see if the green box was that. So, hopefully, they're not going to... completely destroy this maybe make it a bit more rare or maybe not even rare but like give us less income but don't nerf it like you did like they did with the uh weapons because selling weapons it's so funny like you can sell a size three um repeater for nine alpha uac but then you can sell your like personal weapon like uh, the ar that you're this one where is it this one for like 2,000 Alpha UEC. It's so stupid. Yeah, I think the, the green one is gone. Yeah, that was the green one. See? 110,000 for a single container. So honestly, I think it's an oversight. So might as well do this as fast as possible so you can make some money before... Uh, they patch it out because you know that they're going to patch it out because they did that with the weapons in um in the ptu yeah green boxes are eggs skins and other expensive shit. yeah so let me see what else can i can i sell here vulture one 11k not bad I did nothing for all this. I just had like a single cutty. And it's 16k. Fucking amazing. Scrap. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, sell it. Sell it all. I cannot sell. Now, I have some shit here, but I can't see it. This UI is terrible, honestly. Oh. Zip. Agrisium. The fuck is Mala? Uncut slam, so you cannot sell this, this, and this. And I'm not sure what zip, mala, and thrust is. Might as well ditch everything. You know what? 
the leader? Fuck you. You know, you you know. Also, hello. You know that uh, my PC died. I did not play 319 like PTU at all. So I've just learned about the whole thing, and I want to share it with the world. You want to hop in with me? No, this was a personal one, and we're gonna get more of them. You're, you're, you're gonna see. Uh, I think it's better to get the, per uh, the not the personal one, the fucking. You you like you confuse me because you asked the same question twice. Did you take the risky contract or, or the uh, personal one? Yeah, I got the the general one. So I think that's better because you'll see in a second. Where is it? Starfare. I never got like uh, these big ones. Honestly, I don't care right now. So I got a Kari. Arkel 1. Okay. Where is this Arkel 4? Connie. Michael 1. Alright, there's gonna be some... Some hopping around, I guess. So they are only like 10,000. Not playing Star Citizen until they fix 30k protection. Well, here's the issue. Uh, uh, have, like having, so we have 30k protection, right? It's still there, but the thing is, you're getting reconnected to the uh, wrong server every time when, when your server uh, 30k's. So the issue is that we don't have a server list to choose from. Yeah. Uh, it, it was it was a really bad uh, time. Jumping is useless. <laughs> so I gave up. I wanted to give it a chance again. Maybe if if I get rolled like like I did uh, yesterday, and if if the game like dies on me, at least you guys are gonna have fun watching me being pissed off. So yeah, twenty thousand and twenty thousand. So. Even the fucking Moby Glass is not working. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, what is this? Like, wh what's happening with the cursor? Honestly, you can't even fucking click on things. But, uh, Michael 1, Michael 1, wait. We're just gonna accept these. Maybe if the game fucking lets us. There's no vehicle protection. You must reclaim any ship left out and lose its cargo. Exactly. Because you're not on the same server that later. Because when the server restarts, when you died, or when uh, where you 30 keyed, the ship is still, still going to be there. But it's on that server. That's the issue. So yeah, we're just going to grab these. You know what? Let's just go for the... For the the two ones that I got already, because they're both at uh, Michael one. You good, by the way, Dad? I didn't talk to you in a while. Yeah, that's terrible. Honestly, that's that's completely terrible, the leader. It's a huge buy-in, especially if you just started out like I did. Although I cannot complain, I, like I had my starting money is like 250k. But as you can see, I'm currently at 200k. Uh from one run with these like things. Like, with, with these missions. Because I lost all the money. I was, like, down to almost 30k. Uh, last night. What's up, Stranger Danger? <laughs> Dead. They used to store it in a station. Yes. But that was before PES. Right? Because now... With PES, the thing just like uh, is there on that server, right? 
that's as, like at least what I understand. Uh, is this even yellow? Yeah, it is. All right, I just want to grab a bigger. Oh yeah, this is not working. All right, don't don't puke. I'm just trying to find Grim Hex. There we go. Oh yeah, so yesterday, no, two days ago I got a Carrick, uh, and I got um, an STV inside of it, and a couple of Furies inside of it, uh, just for good measure, because, I don't know, and it was fun, like, it, it's really fun flying that thing, I really like it, although it's it's a dog shit uh, fighter, honestly, and once you get hit, your shield is gonna go down, and your, like, wing is just gonna fall off, or your engine is gonna get hurt, and you're gonna lose all the maneuverability and you're just gonna go into a flat spin and that's it so basically i got all that and that, that's the day when the a sub terminals broke and i did a couple of things uh i went for the salvage missions gathering the weapons that's when i realized that like weapons uh, are useless i opened the the thing okay nice not what i wanted and I went back to get a reclaimer. I went back to, to the station. And the ASAPs weren't, weren't working. So I was like, yeah, fuck this. I can't spawn a ship. Like, it's useless just to sit here. So I logged off. The uh, Carrick was inside a hangar. Like, stored inside a hangar. I didn't click on, on the button store because I just couldn't, like, access the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the ASAP terminals. My, my fucking FPS is 17 here. It's 27 now. Like, wh why is Grim Hex so bad? Landing. Jesus Christ. So anyway, the day after I logged back in, and the ship wasn't stored, it was, um, it was apparently destroyed. And I lost everything that I had on it. Uh, I did a couple of bunker missions, um, just like... Uh, looting them. Uh, I went for the bunkers just, just to loot them. I uh, did a, a couple of uh, whatchamacallit like loot runs basically around the uh, outposts and all that and everything was lost inside the Carrick because it was apparently destroyed Welcome somehow. To the vehicle retrieval system. Can I explain? explain the exploit it's not an exploit so i will never show you an exploit uh the only way or the only time i would show you something that is broken is if it's not an exploit if it's intentional maybe it was just like where's my where's my uh give me a second corsair there we go vehicle selected stand by Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. So basically, you will never find exploits and cheats on my channel. But if it's intentional, I think it's a fair game. Um, I don't think it's working as intended. Maybe it is. Maybe they really wanted to to like tell us that they're sorry for 318, so they gave us this. But basically, you get you're gonna see it in a second. You get the salvage missions, and you go for the Salvage missions in the general tab. These ones. And you go for the... Um, I didn't try the, the, the bigger ships, so I don't know. But I went for the Cutlasses. Cutlasai. Um, and the Connies, and... I forgot how to open this thing, honestly. Oh yeah, it's here, inside. And... You don't, you don't even, like, try to salvage anything from them. Okay, so we have an issue here. Yeah, we have an issue here. All right, we got to get some water and food because you know how it's going to work. So you don't, you don't salvage the ships at all. You just open them. Check if there's, like, uh, any, any boxes inside. If there are boxes inside and if they're green... You're gonna get a lot of money. 
if they're white and blue, you're gonna get maybe some money. And uh, if they're silver or gray, as far as I know, most of them are useless. But I think Auburn just said that uh, it could be RMC too. I don't know. I didn't get like a single grade of RMC from salvage missions. Unless I salvage the ship. Alright. MRE? Sure. So, you know what? I have a complaint here that I got to file. Where's the manager? Buying drinks that you need every fucking couple of minutes, drinks and food and all that, is so tedious. Like, there's too much steps to it. If 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 I'm if I'm just bad at the game, please tell me if there's like another way to do it. Yeah, the game is still broken. But this is so fucking tedious that I, I just can't. Yeah, okay. It's not broken, it's just not running well. That that's that's true. That's actually true. You can buy food and water from the terminals from this one here, because most of the shops do not have any terminals. Let me see. Misc. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So here you can. Yeah, nice. But what about the fucking... The, the other... The, the, all the other... Places without any terminals. Like, the thing is so fucking tedious. You know what? So, you don't even need a terminal. Just let us do this. Once you go here, you don't quick buy, but you go into more info. And then, in, uh, instead of confirm purchase, you have, like, a quantity that you want to uh, uh, purchase. And then, click on the confirm purchase. Because that, be, that would be fine, honestly. Like, most shops do not have this. The last couple of days, I was uh, on, like, Lagrange points, and I had to go to, like, uh, Galerias upstairs. And I just had, like, to fucking collect over and over, and over again and drag them into my inventory. It was so fucking terrible, honestly. Five. <laughs> You're supposed to buy one hot dog. Yeah. If buy five of these. Fine. Alrighty. I think that's it. That's all I need. I thought you should be able to talk to the NPCs when there is no terminal and then the NPC hands a hand held to you and acts like a terminal. Are we playing the same game? I'm, I'm not being a dick here, Jim. I'm just like, I never saw that ever, honestly. Is a uh, local inventory working as intended? Watch this. So yeah, I guess I guess it is, right? So can anyone confirm what ships you can move RMC from Wait, where's my hangar? Nine. From a friend's vulture 
two and it's not count as stol stolen goods. I don't think you can do it with like any ship. I, I, I honestly don't think you can do it with any ship. Unless, unless that ship is his. Maybe. Space magic. Yeah. I mean, I mean, is, is the inventory working as intended? Is this normal to you guys? Like, is this normal? I've been playing a lot of DayZ in the past, like, month. You may know that, or you may not. But, like, the inventory is not that bad. And you still have a 3D character. If they, like, if you really need a 3D character, you can do it in another way and not long like this. Even Minecraft does it better, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. What happened to the doors? Also, why is my ship not starting? There we go. <laughs> Did they release the BMM yet? Nah. Didn't I just do that? King Plus? Did I do that? Should I should I hop out and check? I, I think I, I I think I I did it. Alright, I'm off to forward to see a grumpy once upon a time. We should go for that cup of coffee. Huh? Once upon a time in the past, we should we should in the future go for what coffee? You are confusing me. Puppet here. But I think I, I know you <laughs> what you wanna say. I didn't do it? Really? Are you sure? See, it's, it's in my backpack. I fucking did it. You guys are just trolling me, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like when I was showing you the... The buggiest fucking inventory ever. But then... I did it. Without you noticing. It's... It's... I forgot. I forgot. I forgot how bad the Corsair is. It's fine. Everything is fine. Don't judge me. Also, my hand tracking is not working, so you guys would, wouldn't uh, be you here. Alrighty, let's go. You know what? I'm probably not gonna get shit now. <laughs> now that I'm streaming. Oh yeah, the stream lagged for you. Mm, yeah, sure. Liar. Liar, pants on fire. I think it's uh, really masculine for for a man to say liar, liar. For a man in like his thirties, almost late thirties, to say liar, liar, pants on fire. What's up, grunt? Judgment. If only... If all... Well, what? If you all had... Dude, can I fucking... Give me a second. This is gonna take a while anyway, so... Can I make these... Like, this font bigger? Because I'm really struggling here. Bed in stream appearance, maybe? Nothing. Scale. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh nice. Dude, I'm I'm like uh I'm like an old person now. <laughs> right, so what was the question? If you all had to pick a ship that had a space whale looking paint, what ship would you choose? A Karak with a red paint from last IE. Like, without even thinking about that. No. With a, w w like, with a bit of... 
thought, like, put into it, I would get the, whatchamacallit. <laughs> Oops. It's not gonna work now, right? No, it's not gonna work now. Well, fuck it. Um, so with a bit more thought put into it, uh, the Six and Rye with the executive black and gold thing that you get for investing $25,000 into the game. Was it 25 or 15? I think it was 25. Did you quit or not? The hell? I really want to play it. I really want to play it. I really want to have fun with, with Star Citizen, but we're probably going to get like super stressed and I'm going to probably rage quit, quit the stream, quit my life and everything. Yeah, I noticed that they, or, or somebody told me, a bunch of people were talking about that in my community Discord, that they're not selling uh, squad on 42 packages. I think it's just like a... A bug. <laughs> I think it's just a mistake. Maybe they're gonna, like, change the price to it. I don't know. You know what? Honestly... As far as I'm concerned, stop selling Squadron 42 packages. Stop even fucking working on that game. Just finish Star Citizen. Good to go, buddy. My friggin' Alath. Alath? What? What is? What's? What's Alath? Blue motor. Some. I'm awaiting a new drive motor, and belt. What's Alath? Well, Alath. Lathy. I don't know. What is on your opinion on the Star Citizen Reddit declaring all their ship pledges as investments? I think that's stupid. Honestly, most people did not invest into the game. Most people bought the ships for themselves to use them in the game. At some point or right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Make it bigger daddy pumps. <laughs> Why are you not using cruise? Cruise control? Why would I? I? I hate that thing. I use it sometimes, but... Yeah. Is Star Citizen fixed yet? Not really. As you may see soon. But there are some cool things that... Uh, we have now. Did you get a response to your Spectrum post? Which one? Because they posted two. This one? I have like 91 replies here. But this is not the, the post that I shared with you guys. So... No. Wilson! What am I running? Uh, what do you mean? What ship do I currently like? I, uh, the only ship that I actually like, well, how do I say this? So currently the only ship that I think that is good, and what I mean by that is uh, that's like completely implemented, that uh, all the things that could work, work in it, because like, for example, where is it, there we go, for example, the Corsair here is an oversized Gladius. It has a bunch of guns, it has turrets, and it basically has a cargo hold and nothing in it works. Like most of the shit inside of it you cannot interact with. Get out. Like... Nothing here. You can open the door. You can lay in the bed and that's it. Open this. Sure. That's cool. I mean, the Corsair is not the, the best, um... So, there's... Oh my god, the FPS. There's also this. Another storage that you can open. Turrets, and that's it. No fridge inside of it. No nothing. You cannot inter interact with these. It's the same with the Carrick. It's the same with any other ships. Like, all of this here. Now you can... Uh, you you can like interact with the multi-tool. You can take uh, the components out, and that's it. 
But still, it's a bit, like... Useless right now, honestly. Because of a couple of reasons, it doesn't matter. So the only ship that I actually like... Right now, that I think... I could say that it's basically complete. It only, like, needs a couple of things. And there's, like, no wasted space and all of that is the Drake Cutter. It's fun to fly, and that's it. Restream chat is trying to connect. So messages... Did my, did my internet die? Nope, it's still alive. Okay, it was just restream being... Being restream. Okay. Sure. Did you jump? No? Okay. Uh, this is one of... Like, one more thing that, like, really bothers me. The fact that the QT is still broken. And they're not gonna fix it, because, like, why would they? They're gonna give us master modes. And they're gonna break at some point, probably. Um, Flash, so I was talking about... Uh, like, both of, of the posts... Um, that I made on, on Spectrum yesterday, I was talking about the issues that, that I had in a couple of days. But I s split that into two posts because uh, it's two different topics, right? Can I change the thing now? Oh no, this is VTOL. Okay. So this is up. Nope. It is not up. It is not up. Is it to the right? It is to the right. Okay. I just set the controls on my uh, sticks, so I don't really know all of them. Gonna close? Thank you. Now I look badass. I honestly forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I split it into two topics. Uh, purely because... Okay, what is this? Can I open it? It has shields, never mind. Oh. I missed it. You know what I noticed? Um, I'm gonna come back to the to the threads, but uh, I noticed if you go decoupled and you leave the stick, you're gonna start slowing down. And that's new to me. I don't know when they added that. I think it's because they want to slow down ships that have no power. So for like soft death ships. So they will stop at some point, but I don't know if it should like work with uh, like decoupled like that. See a brace. So I made uh, two different th threads because it it's like different things. First one is that um, there's no point in having like higher claim times. Uh, because of all the bugs and all of that. Uh, I get it why, why they want to do it, but now is not the right time. You got to do it later when there's like less bugs. Maybe at some point that's going to happen. You never know. Maybe some exciting times await us. <laughs> but... The other topic or the other thread was... Uh, about what Dead Leader just talked about, that like PS and Heartbeats are obsolete now because we don't have a server list. So the issues that I, that I was having, I could have potentially fixed them with a relog or logging off and uh, lo logging out and logging back in, but nope, didn't work simply because I couldn't back up or I, I couldn't get back into my uh, old server. Every time I was just like put in, into another server. Alright, so I'm hoping that we might see some shit inside of this. This should be the lower side, right? I'm gonna say that it is. I, I need my, my thing for this. Hopefully, yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna say that this is good. So let's see. This is the way. Yeah, this is almost perfect. 
whether it feels like it or not, Star Citizen is getting better each patch. Even if the patch is trash, copium or, or hopium, it doesn't matter. We're having fun play. If not, I don't play. Well, yes and no, because you know what like infuriates most of us? It's the like oh we're almost there. Oh it almost works. Oh, oh it's almost fucking amazing. And then you hop in and you realize that uh it's broken as hell and you you can like barely play it. That like it infuriates me at least. I don't know. Uh where's the button for this thing now? I forgot. Uh, oops. In the front. Or do you just click on it? You know what? The last time I did it, I, I did it from the side because I couldn't find a button. I don't know if they added a button or what happened. Also, I gotta get a yeah, they added buttons. I gotta um, I gotta get a new keyboard because this one is super loud and super bad. Okay, we have some stuff. Not that much, though. Um, I didn't fly in one of these in a while. There we go. So the, the gray and blue ones are a hit and miss. At least for me. These ones apparently all at least oh my god. At least Auburn said that they're uh always bad. I guess we'll see in a second. Well, not in a second, but at, at some point. Or maybe even not, because I can't even fucking see the crate. What's happening? Okay, amazing. I didn't even try um, Ghost Hollow, the new one, the new PvP mission. How, how, how does it work? I've heard that, like there's a terminal instead of a dispenser. So basically we're done with this and we can just uh, abandon it. And we wasted like 20,000. It is a bit of a hit and miss, honestly. But in the end, once you get to the one that actually has some good stuff on it, some good good, you're gonna be super happy, and uh, it's like the the time and the money that you wasted is not gonna matter. I had luck with uh, with a cutty. The cutty was like basically almost completely full yesterday. Oh yeah, sorry about that. So after this one, I guess we can go for a cutty. Just jump down, safe. See, the issue is st stalker, st st stockler. Uh, the issue is that when you look at, at the marketing and all of that, you're gonna see a completely, like, a phenomenal game. What's up, Chippy? A phenomenal game that just, like, looks amazing, works amazing, all of that. And you start playing it, especially during free, free flies, and you realize... this you realize this that it's completely fucking broken and it's even more broken during free flies am i pissed off right now i am did i lose much i lost forty thousand, and i lost maybe some money that i, that I had in my uh, corsair 
like in the crates. So this is the typical CAG uh, 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 marketing thing that like they need to put it out because com comedic timing at its best. Yeah, exactly. It always fucking happens to me, honestly. You're about to sell your cargo and spunk 30k. So, tell me, like, and this is a question for the marketing team, honestly. What do you think that a new player is gonna say after they play in your free fly and they get fucking 30 keys after 30 keys and they lose all the progress uh, that, that they had in the week that they have to play it? So, should the marketing run the development or should the development run the development and fucking marketing go seconds and then marketing uh just like gives an amen for for like whatever so here's a question uh for you guys right now should i wait should, should we like react to a video this is really a surprise yeah it's not should we re <laughs> i'm getting pissed off <coughs> Jesus, should we wait for a video? Uh, sh no. Should we react to a video and wait for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour for uh, the server to maybe spool up so we can maybe get back into the same spot into the Corsair or, sh or should I just like hop back in and do it over and over again trying to get some money out of it? Instead of just loading and claiming the Corsair Grumpy, try to going to the planet you spawned in, I guess, and see if it's there. I think it at least throws the ship there, according to some posts, at least. Um, I don't know, because I spawned it at Grimhax, and I'm going to be... Uh, the ship should be in Grimhax. I'm sure as hell not going to go back to uh, Bar Corp, spend like, I don't know how, how much uh, time just to realize that yeah it's not gonna work because when it happened to me with the Karak and the reclaimer and and the vulture 20 minutes yep 10 years 12 years jt 12 years yeah the ship will requ require a claim so what happened to me with the Karak uh reclaimer and the vulture in the last couple of days they were either destroyed or uh, the location was unknown. So you had to claim them. I'm not wasting my time on bugs and being angry. <laughs> I mean, you do you. Alright, let me... Let me figure out how to do this. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, channel creator dashboard. All right, so I want to make a vote on Twitch and on YouTube. So let me do. How the fuck do I do this? I guess this is how I do it. I don't know. Okay, I don't know how to do it on Twitch because uh, voting on, like, doing anything on Twitch requires me to know fucking Twitch code, which I don't know how, how it works. So, unfortunately, the guys from YouTube will need to be the ones that are gonna. I, I, I gotta like yes. I gotta spend some time uh, learning how Twitch works unless somebody already knows how to make a, a vote on Twitch because I know it's like slash um, vote and then I don't know what to do
If not, just hop onto my YouTube channel and you can you can vote there, I guess. The vote is up. Make sure you vote because I really don't know what, what to do here. If you want me to react, I gotta find a a good video for that. I think I have a good video for that. Let me actually see. Yeah, Golgot released a video. Dead Leader also released a video, didn't see it. Alright, for all you guys that wanted me to like react to the uh, Medrunners uh, versus Greasy Khaleesi uh, thing, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not here for drama, and they're like just there for drama, and Khaleesi himself is there for drama. Um, he also uh, called Mike and I dumb and dumber in one of the comment sections. Sorry, but I saw it. So, I'm not sure if I'm dumb or dumber, but I'm not that dumb to like react to, to those videos, honestly. All in all, I can all like, I can just tell you that it's super cringe and. Uh, both sides are honestly mental. There's a new Void dude. Nice. Let me see what you guys voted for. I guess React is uh, winning. Let me see. Out of 16 votes. Come on, there's more people. Come on. Twitch chat, put it in chat, I'll vote what I see. Well, the thing is, so, let me show you this. I don't think that there's going to be anything here that is uh, going to compromise the stream. Fucking hell. So the thing, like, you do it, you do everything from the chat, right? So it's slash vote. And then you have index, and I don't know what fucking index is, honestly. React. And do I do this again? Where is it? It's not. So. The fuck is it? It's not that. See, like, it's it's a thing that I need to learn how to do, honestly, because it's it's weird. What's up, bite boy? Yeah, I'm good. How about you? My point is, you can be angry, but your anger only shows the uninitiated that. CG might be incompetent if that if that ends up being the case people will stop supporting the project making your money lost in vain there is a balance to be struck vain <laughs> you know what let me tell you something if you invested your money into this game and it doesn't matter how much money you invested. If it's a hundred bucks, if it's forty-five or fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, it doesn't matter. If you invested money into this game, more than forty-five bucks, you already knew what could happen with this game. So you probably invested the money, like your disposable income, into this game because. It was disposable and you had it right there so why not uh drop it onto a ship or whatever and if the uh, project fails if uh cg locks their doors and not uh, uh like if they give up on star citizen you shouldn't be mad because and i'm not saying that you did it to support a project but you knew what you were doing that's what i'm saying
That's why I always say you do not need to invest more than like 45 bucks. Honestly. So let me see what, what's winning right now. Reaction is, is winning. Okay, fuck it. Let's not spend uh, any more time. Let's react to a video. So you guys got a video for me? If not, I'm going to play... I know that somebody said Void has a new one. I just drop it into my uh, community Discord. And I'll, I'll check them out. So, all right. Let me stop the music. So the first one that we're going to react to is that leader, Jesus Christ, 9,000 subscribers. Um, Where the fuck is it? React. Okay. So the first video that we're going to react to is going to be from a guy called a dead leader. Dead leader. And uh, it's called the massive changes in 319 CAG doesn't want you to know about. It's three minutes long. 3.19 is almost out on live and there's some huge additions coming to the game. There are massive mining changes, salvage contracts, the ability to add and remove ship components with the tractor beam, the Lawville City rework, and new play, ex play experience. All get the yeah, most YouTube, coverage. Yeah, YouTube, I want you to play the fucking video in 480p. Like it's, from like it's 2008. Players. But there's a number of things I've found that nobody seemed to be talking about. Here's the changes in Star Season 3.19 that CIG doesn't want you to know about. Okay. With the what are those? Warville rework, the city has had a huge overhaul, expanding the city limits with plenty of things to see and investigate. It looks. He keeps on telling me that he doesn't have a 400i. And I keep on seeing him, like, in the 400i, so. It's truly amazing, but. You do need to be close enough to really enjoy it. CIG have added multiple cloud layers to the planet of Hurston, which block the majority of visibility from the city at most angles and positions. This is likely because with all the new additions to the city, they don't actually want you to have to see it all loading in building by building, one by one as you get closer. Rather, only let you see the city once you're close enough that, at a distance, the furthest parts would be obscured by fog for you to be able to see anything unloaded or loading in as you approach it. This is yeah, all this is probably true. Uh, although, if there was dynamic weather and if there was a uh, dynamic cloud system, if these volumetric clouds were actually uh, dynamic like in other, some other games, uh, then it wouldn't work like that. But now, yeah, they can despawn it. They they can despawn most of the buildings and hide them be, be like behind the clouds, so that you don't you don't see like popping and all that. Also, also largely in order, order to, to help improve server, server performance, performance for you. And believe it or not, the cloud planet of Crusader has also had an increase of clouds put into it in order to help improve server performance. Over on Arcorp, the normally city-covered planet is now mostly obscured by these very beautiful behemoth clouds in order to help improve server performance. Do you ever have four frames per second when you... I don't think it has anything to do with server performance, though. I, I think it has to do with uh, your CPU and GPU performance. Honestly. Fly to a space station? Well, have no fear, as all space stations in 3.19 have been replaced by clouds in order to help improve server performance. Okay, of course. Including the normally very low performance Security Post Korea, which has seen a significant increase in server performance by replacing it with a cloud. But don't worry, as it's still just as deadly if you fly anywhere near the thing. But it's, it's not, not all just, just about locations, locations as, as there's, there's also, also been significant, significant changes to the hand mineables. The, in the audio is very echoey. Okay, sorry, I was, uh, I was just, oh, okay, I know why. Give me a second. Oh, for fuck's sake, I, I hate this, honestly. Give me a second. Oh, you know what, actually? It's gonna be here. Um, all right, tell me if this is better now. 
as there's also been significant Fucking hell. Changes to the hand Is mines in the prison mines, with nodes now increasingly more responsive to hit with a cloud. But don't worry, as it's still just as deadly if you fly anywhere All right, thank near you. the thing. Yeah, I still gotta uh, set up. It's not all just about locations, all as there's also been significant changes to the hand mineables in the prison mines, with nodes now increasingly more responsive when mined with the addition of clouds. <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to most in 3.19? Let me know in the comments below. My name's Dead Leader, and I'll see you out there in the clouds. In the clouds, but of course. Dead Leader. <laughs> And once again, What's thank up, you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. Oh, and Nick Charles. Hello, his name is Star Streams. Star, 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 star streams. Star, star, star streams. Star, 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 star streams. I got that. Star, 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 star. Tattoo of your face that you wanted me to get. Um, thanks for letting me do that. All right. So the next video. Uh, I, like, uh, I knew that this was just going to be a troll video because I, I know the leader and that's why I love him. Uh, the next <laughs> video that we're going to watch is by Golgot100. I didn't watch this one. I marked this one uh, on my Discord just so I can see it later so I can uh, do a reaction to it. All hail to the Cloud God. Yeah. The clouds are not even that, that good, honestly. Like, they're okay, but they're like, eh, whatever. Anyway, the video is by Golgot100. It's called Reverse the Verse Removed Features from 2013 up until 2022. Let's go. Because we're all former backers and stuff like this. We've been here for a while and stuff. Uh, if you could bring back one thing that was in the game, if you can but bring was removed or time. stopped for some reason, what would it be? So okay. this is before my time, but I've seen videos of it that there's like these little drones that used to like repair your ship, and oh, that seems yeah. so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Those will come back from Cryos Station. Will come back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was about to say that this, uh, the, the, like in this video, we're probably going to talk about uh, the repair drones. Yeah, because yeah. they were. Really yeah, I'm cool. looking forward to that. And so this is also Star. You want to play, or are you still like away from home? One of the many uh, refuel, repair, and rearm stations that will be uh, in the uh, SEL for 2.0. Landing complete. And here come the here come the drones. But the drones were covered or are covered now by clouds to improve the server performance. Um, so I've been working on the first pass of the repair systems that we have in place. You may have seen little gyroscopic robot guys that kind of pop out and come along and fix up your ship. Um, so it's very much important to us that we get a first pass of these guys into you. Simon's little drones will come out as well and they'll repair AI ships just the same as they would a player ship. So it, it I have really never seen these guys. A fully functioning little I don't think they would work for CG anymore. What the game will eventually become. Look at the the frame rate. Restocking ammunition. The team at Cryastro thanks you. Hope to see you But soon. honestly, that was really cool. So the mechanic for for doing the repairing, refueling, rearming is via its drones. So it has four drones that are sort of contained within the body of the ship, um, and then it can launch them out. These drones can. They can do all three actions, but they can only do one at a time before they have to go back to the, the mother. You know what? I was looking yesterday at the pledge store and I saw the Vulcan and I was like, God damn it. Like, why is that not in the game? Honestly, I think we're getting like closer and closer to having uh, repair ships, at least the Vulcan, because now we have salvage uh, repairing, basically tier minus 15 repairing. And... I think, I believe that uh, it's like the first iteration and they're going to just build them up on top of it. Uh, but don't get your ho like hopes up because they like introduced the inventory a year and a half ago, the new inventory system, and it's still bad and it's still like tier 
zero. It was tier minus one. Not the Crucible. They're not going to release the Crucible like straight away. The Vulcan. The uh, medium repair and uh, refuel. That one. Like the Crucible, I, I think, is going to be too big for, for all of it. But, I mean, you never know. But, uh, yeah, I think we're like moving towards this. Um, repair, like repairing ships. And that's pretty cool. I really want to have drones. The Reclaimer, I don't know if you, if you know that, but Reclaimer should have drones. So, you don't need to like hop out an EVA to like uh, gather components and all of that. You can do that with the drones. But yeah, anyway. Other ship to, to change function to take on new supplies. The drones themselves do the repair, much like we have in the PU at the moment with the little drones on the cryastro stations where you land, they come out and repair you. It's but then they changed their statement as far as I remember, that you will be able to like control the drones, and uh, it's not that the drones themselves are going to repair. It's very similar style to that. Cryastro station has been removed as all services can now take place at rest stops and stations. Yep. What about non-combat AI? Uh, what are our plans for seeing uh, uh, ships flying along trade routes, maybe even responding to service beacon requests themselves? All right, so the the estimation for that is somewhere around 3.5, 3.6 of actually having like AI traders in the game. And we're also working on some groundwork for the AI actually travel diverse. So that means QT linking, having landing and takeoff in hangars and all these shenanigans. One such detail that is being worked on currently okay. is the presence of AI controlled non-combat ships taking off and landing at the city's interstellar transit hubs. At the moment, for 3.3, I am working on enabling civilian AI ships to appear over Lorville, then make their way down to the city, touch down, stick around for a bit, take off again, make their way back to orbit, and then quantum travel somewhere else. Once the Starfarer has reached this placeholder landing pad, it will switch over to the takeoff and landing system, which is powered by uh, the IFCS. It will then touch down, stick around for a few seconds, though this is still placeholder. In the final version, they will stick around for longer. The IF So that's the thing that we just got, but they did it again. Last year, they showed us how NPCs are going to land and take off and all of that. Although they're just like, they're just landing and some of them are not even landing. They're just hovering and they're so broken that it's, it's like, come on. Come on, guys. FCS lets it take off again, and then it switches back to the pre-placed spline, the path which will take it back to orbit. Launch sequence complete. Let me see if I'm going to get a copyright strike. Like, I really tried not to get a copyright strike today, because all of my streams get a copyright strike. Hopefully I'm not. And you know what? Gorgod needs to think about this because he's about to monetize his channel. He's like at 900 something uh, subscribers. Yeah. So if you didn't subscribe to him, Disabled I don't know what you're doing. AI over Area 18 to test performance gains. Oh wait, what? This was this was an actual thing. Okay, never mind. Disabled ship AI over Area 18 to test performance gains. I actually heard about that being a thing, but I, I never saw it with my eyes. Will we see a return of AI traffic landing at landing zones? Well, yeah. Look at this guy's face. I think this face says it all. Yes, of course. Um, I don't actually remember why. Part of it was related <laughs> to, the, to the physics rework. Uh, that was necessary because they, they needed a smarter way to simulate them without killing everybody's physics. Yep. When you when you just dump that many ships in. All right. So now we can either request or cancel a landing we wanted to. Uh, you know what, Star Streams? I get a copyright strike. Like I basically, I, I don't know, an hour ago, I got a copyright strike for a stream that I did maybe more than a week ago. It, it's super weird. But we're going to request a landing. Um from uh, the Levski control tower there. Eslin Macken is the character here. Okay, Are we so playing the, the, like the, the same game? Because uh, this is not the game that and, uh, we're playing. If you take too long, then the screen will fade to black and you'll be there 
in the airlock, uh, just so no one can sort of sit on the landing pad forever and prevent other owls from landing. Um, all right, so let's uh, head down. So for the, the people that remember pre 3.0, we, we actually had on the, the, the 3D radar, mm -hmm. when you went into landing mode, you had sort of an assisted landing. Um, that's something we're going to be looking to bring back. It was simply when the conversion to item 2.0 happened and all the cockpits got changed from their old UI system to rendered texture. That was just something that just didn't fit on the schedule at the time. So that's hopefully going to come back. Um, Mine is Tessa Banis. Wait, is this like the third rendition of the UI? And I'm like, like I'm not saying UI as just like um, the interior of, of cockpits because it's like the fifth one. But before building blocks, we had wasn't Flash. It was was it Flash or or Java? Flash, right? But I think there was something before that. Because they changed the idea a couple of times, right? And now we have building blocks, and it's super fucking slow. It's I, I think it's tied to the server, and most of the times it just doesn't doesn't work. Mister, so bring her fun. back. That's a banister. Uh, we all we all love Jared. and miss her. Hey, got something for you. Not to sound mysterious or anything, but I'm picking up some. To find this, know that my journey has ended. It was finding my way here that made the path worth taking. I am glad that I can be part of your story too. Yeah, it it was actually pretty hard ripping her out. Actually, like she's our for, our first mission giver, and um, yeah, but I mean, yeah, she's coming back. The one hurdle that we have to mm -hmm. address is the fact of like, well, what do we do with those original lines? Do we re-record them? Do we have uh, the actress lip sync uh, to the, the, the lines? Yeah, so the mission team continues to work on module mission design and has refocused efforts on the scramble race or death race missions that we saw early tests of in previous updates. Yeah, we already saw Go, these mi missions in one of the previous Golgots videos of like, I think it was just racing uh, from like 2012 to uh, 2023. And uh, yeah, uh, this, this never happened. I'm gonna be racing in a scramble. Get set, go! <laughs> Not to be disrespectful, but why do most of these dudes look traumatized? I don't know. Maybe because there was like a Chris with a whip behind of him. First one to collect enough checkpoints wins. Outside of that, whatever the hell you want. Um, and I see that the Scramble Race is about that perfect ecosystem for many of a you know uh, kind of careers. The you know uh, being a TV reporter covering this thing, being a medic that's kind of hovering around, being a scavenger that's coming to pick up the you know remains, or you know a repairman that comes in, flies. Okay, in, so like, you know, since we got the medical gameplay in this uh, salvaging well tier one, um, do you think we're gonna get like TV reporting soon? Stop kind of thing. They are and now I, I honestly don't know how you're gonna make a buck with that. I, I never understood what they want to do with that. Honestly. They're aimed towards the future. It's a tier zero, you know. Um. Temporarily removed scramble races. Have a mode. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I, like, I don't. I don't know where we moved. Yeah, this. but you're where Joy goes to die. So if it was if it was for me, I would still have have a mode. Like like we have we have ships like the reclaim dude. Mr. E, you, you have a severe, like a severe case of dualism. And I'm going to address it after the video. But I'm looking at the chat and I'm reading and I'm like, what? What is happening right now? Anyway, let's continue. Reclaimer, the Terrapin, mm -hmm. has specific VTOL thrusters. For instance, the Aegis Reclaimer has a very sophisticated landing and VTOL system. Featuring four powerful rotating thrusters with VTOL capabilities. With its dedicated rotating VTOL engines. The Idris is actually also an example of this. Um, it's so heavy and its accelerations are so low that it cannot hold itself up um, if it's not in VTOL mode, literally mm -hmm. at all. It will fall. So the need became apparent to what if we actually have VTOL on a different 
control so that you can go into veto mode when you're entering atmosphere not necessarily you don't need to shut the fuck up it's fine i'll i'll, I'll talk to you in a second i'm trying to figure out like what what what, what is the argument that you're trying to like stand behind here but we're, we're talking about mode. it in a second with some of the veto and hover changes that we're going to bring in for 36 uh you know landings will it'll be cooler and better and you know we'll also be able to get that sort of uh you know kind of i don't know what you normally see in movies or helicopter gunship kind of things where you can sort of be hovering and you know like doing this hover mode an evolution to vtol flight that looks to change the way ships perform at their slowest speeds while flying through atmosphere so you can no longer hover at any angle you have to hover level and which will make this uh, a lot more believable to look at and a lot more feel a lot more realistic. Important feature coming to the game is the hover mode and I really look forward to that. Really showcases uh, what like atmospheric this flight can always, be. Like, and it has this like effect my, uh, making the the low speed atmospheric flight super believable and interesting. So in 3.6 we introduced hover mode. So I'm gonna jump into the game and show you what we have been working on as an improvement to this. So the goal with this is obviously to try and make the handling of the ship feel a little bit more believable and softer and not as like this jerky kind of mess all over the place. Proximity Assist will now replace hover mode for near surface control. I'd like to think the problem was not the core mode itself, but rather the lack of appropriate UI in flight assists. It was simply too early to be released, but you couldn't have judged it without playing it. And that's where the VTOL ship's going to come in, where they can transform and fly in VTOL and hover. And that's where they'll have the advantage. Um, but we need to add control services first and work out how we do all the controls. Right. Didn't we do some version of this before with the adding the... The old hover mode. Yeah. All right. Jared didn't even want to fucking see it. Amazing. Mag boots. Mag okay. boots as they were. Like, we fucking need this. We really need this. And we need a rework of the EVA. Like, EV I don't know if EVA was ever, ever good, but like, it, Jesus Christ, it's so bad. Mag okay. boots as they were were not really versatile enough for what we wanted to do. Um, whereas this new system we've got is called Align to Surface. So you can switch AR on. You'll be able to use Moby Glass and Later Burn. So that's how you can sort of know who the various people are. These are all our various uh, uh, um, sort of demo accounts for this. Um, again, you'll be able to put your AR on, see the different items, uh, transact and buy uh, through your Moby Glass. You know what? I'm, I'm like, I'm glad that we don't have this because like this is, this is ugly. What? Like you can't even fucking read this. I guess it's cool for, for people to know who's who. Transact and buy uh, through your Moby Glass. I love the new radar as well. It's going to two six. Is he gonna? He's probably gonna show us still. Oh, oh but taken killed out. while reloading. That, that is, did her no good. That is never any good. On. Hey, Vinny. Yeah. Find him first. Do me a favor. Teach him a lesson. Oh, with pleasure. This this acting is just Hi, cringe. Hey, it was all, it was always Wanna cringe. Know what I think of you. And that's what I think of you. Did you get him? Oh, yeah. Sweet. You know, like, another thing you could do or a puzzle is the, the satellite shut down, but if we maybe get our multi-2 out uh, and perhaps cut away those restraints there. Wait, there used to be a mission that used the cutter on the multi-tool, and we, were, we removed it, didn't we? Yeah, we had it in the uh, downed relay. You had to cut the emergency mm -hmm. thing open. Uh, but we found that at the time, not many people were carrying a multi-tool because it wasn't <laughs> much. Because that was the only thing in the game you could do with the multi-tool. Restricted areas V2, where we've finally done away with the last remnants of the. Why not like bring it back then? The ugly red areas and implemented a new spline-based landing system that will help guide pilots to their correct destination. And honestly, I saw this and I, I thought that this was stupid. Says they shouldn't be going. Uh, if you could bring back and I'm glad one thing we don't have that no. that was in the game, what would it be? The fish but tank. This just like goes to show that they don't really know what they're doing. And I don't want to be an asshole, but like they're just trying shit out and then figuring like, yeah, this doesn't work. It's not good. So let's do something else. And then here is the fish fish tank that we promised for I 20 million. I think you're getting better with it. 
Uh, with the Midas Fisher. In a year or two. Have alien Fisher there. Star Citizen will allow you to add more fish to your tank by exploring distant planets and collecting new species. The think... crab's got a little house. Oh, the crab's will, got the grotto. That's yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. Runs in there and hides. So there's a few things in there for yep. them to see. There'll be the Avenger, the Cutlass, and then uh, anything, you know, that you might be able to interact Just with. Just a little thing. Um, we're calling it the firing range. The firing range. So basically you'll be able to plop a weapon down on it and uh, test it out. Look at this UI. We'll shoot stuff. Yep. Few, that, few targets doesn't this head. UI remind you of the UI they showed us? I think it was last last Citizen Con, with a like new Moby Glass and new UI, UI for the. You have the fish tank, um, the UI for the uh, hangers and all of that. Down on it and uh, test it out. People shoot stuff. Yep. Few, that, few targets there in the hangar that you can blast away at. Fish. If you have the Oculus Rift, you'll be able to check it out, walk around, see what's going on. Um. What else am I missing on that? No, yeah, I think that's that's about it. I mean, one thing in particular about our game is everything, all the textures, the models, everything is so high definition. Mm -hmm. And if you're a subscriber this week, you'll get your monthly subscriber flare. Uh, this month is going to be a very cool jukebox for your hangar, and you'll be able to load up your MP3s into it and play your own music. And that should be in every subscriber's hangar tomorrow. Hangar module <laughs> is currently disabled. <laughs> We're building the game like in Amazing. a matter of components. Like you start with the hangar module, then you go to to uh, the dog fighting, which you enter from the hangar module, and then the maybe planet side, you might have a door that opens up, and you, you get a visit with your friends, like in a bar kind of thing. So it's all going to be done kind of tinker toy together off the hangar module. Hangar being first thing until we get to Squadron Forty Two and the rest, which will be the bigger releases. Okay. So that's the video from Golgot 100. Here's the link. You got to uh, subscribe to that guy. He's almost at 1,000 subscribers. So let's get him up to like, what is the 71 people that's watching right now? So yeah, go subscribe to him. That's going to be enough. Like if you all subscribe right now, it's going to be enough for him to monetize the channel because he's doing really, really good work. All right, so let me play some music and let me just... Uh, talk to Mr. E if he's still here. Uh, we are going to continue with uh, videos, I guess, until we're sure that the server spooled up and maybe we're going to get back into the same server, maybe. But Mr. E, as I've, like, I've, I've seen that you were, that you wanted to, uh, the game to fail, like I was trying to do two things at the same time. So what's like, yeah, Mr. E, speak up. I don't want to like flame you or anything. It's fine. Like, uh, and, and like, you're here for it. I'm. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna be an asshole towards you. I'm just saying like, there's dualism because I think you said you had a crucible. You have invest invested a lot of money uh, into the game, as far as I I see. Like the crucible itself is like 500 something like that. Maybe, maybe even less. It, it doesn't matter. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Luna. It seems to me that a lot of people are dealing with inner frustrations or f feeling tricked or deceived and maybe the their money and time is wasted in experiencing that can and will make it happen. Huh? It has the potential to do, to do so. I'm all for criticizing CAG, but you but if you truly think your thousands of dollars might have been spent in vain, Oh yeah, okay, I got you all wrong. Well, somebody said that the game is, like, shit, and it's... It is. And that, it, like, it's not fun, but, like, uh, I saw that... I think uh, Starstream re replied to you, and uh, he said, well, it is fun for some people. It is fun for me right now, although it doesn't work. That's the only issue. Like, you saw what happened in the stream. I really like the salvage missions. I really like the idea of detaching and re uh, like retaching uh, components and all of that what's up the general lords starfleet you have tons of fun okay then then i i, I thought you were like i i love the game but i wanted to fail Th that's what i thought you you were saying basically and i was like how, how does that work PU experience seems a little degraded for me at the moment. Only Arena Commander and Star Marine seem to be working decently. 
Dude, you're basically the first guy that actually plays Star Marine. Jesus Christ, g give this guy a medal. Honestly, give this guy a medal. For being the, the pioneer of Star Marine. Do we want to see the project become a full-fledged game or not? Yeah, I think we all do. I can shit on CAG a hundred times harder. It will not change anything in any direction. But who 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 started talking about boycotting? Because I already made a video, like a bunch of videos on boycotting and how that's not going to work ever. This is... I think, I think this scene is a bit more better. A bit better for the for the chat talk. The only issue that I have with the game is now with the game itself. What's up, Kenji? It's not with the game itself. It's uh, it's with uh, with the other game with Squadron Forty Two. I just think that they're using Squadron Forty Two as a meat shield, honestly, and that's it. Like they're constantly saying, "Oh, well, we can't do this because of Squadron Forty Two. We cannot, we cannot do that because of Squadron Forty Two, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And then, like, well, I mean, we're pledging for fucking ships in Star Citizen. That's like, and if you want to play Squadron Forty Two once it gets released, maybe at some point, we will still need to buy that game. Like, we can buy it right now. Well, we, we can't right now. I brought it up. If everyone truly thinks CAG is just being a greedy corporation then why support it? I don't think everybody thinks that, honestly. I don't, I don't think that everybody thinks that. And, a, like, a bunch of people are having fun. Although some people, like, their definition of fun is gonna be different to mine or yours. As I've said, like, a, a couple of times, um, uh, boycotting will not help. Yeah, I, I, ha I have an argument for that. So, I was on a, a podcast uh, on Space Tomatoes podcast, I don't know, six months ago, uh, where I talked to Sp uh, Tomato, Jeroen, uh, Salty Mike, and things that, and I uh, realized right there and then that my definition of fun in a game is not the same to like everyone that's playing, and that that's the issue with Star Citizen. It's a catch-all game, right? So. Jeroen, for example, he's like a streamer. Um, he is a guy that came from, um, what's it called? Second Life. And the only thing that he wants from Star Citizen is like to do like sheep, uh, uh, sheep, ship meetups and uh, just talk to people, walk around their ships, and that's it. And he enjoys that. And that's his gameplay. So his gameplay is there done like it works he's happy and you have a bunch of people that are like that then you have some other guys that like oh pirates they're gonna be happy when like they get uh some things working from them uh for, for the piracy they're not gonna be happy if piracy is in a bad state cargo haulers or the like euro truck simulator guys in space they're not gonna be happy at, like like, they're not happy with uh, Star Citizen in, like, for a while now, because it's just, like, a, an XML sheet that they need to change to give us, like, uh, e either more money or more um, cargo. But that's the thing. Like, it's a casual game, and you have a bunch of people that are either loving the game or hating the game. And that's it. Because... The people that ha hate the game are the people that don't have the promise that they heard the first that like got, got their uh, um, blood boiling. <laughs> How do you say that? So CG has made a bunch of promises over over time, and you had like out of all of the game loops, you have salvage medical gameplay. Uh, refueling uh, and uh, repairing, you have exploration, you have data running, you have agriculture, 
you have science, you have blah, 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 blah. And then you have people that just want to do like ex expedition shit. They just want to ex expedition, exploration. They just want to explore. But that game loop is not there. Then you have people that are just happy exploring by flying their ship over rocks and, and like seeing that this rock differs to this rock. Wow. And they're happy with that. And then they say, well, you can explore. Like there is exploration. Well, is there though? Because for some people, yeah, I'm back to playing the game again, but we 30k, so I can't. Uh, we're just waiting for the server to spool up, I guess. So anyway, you gotta be considerate to the other people. Because, okay, so Jim Flag, yes, exploration, please. That's what he said. But then again, the other guys want fucking mag boots, right? The other guys, I, uh, I know it's like a, um, a stupid comparison because one thing is, uh, does not, at least in our minds, that uh, like one thing does not negate the other, but you never know how it works, because apparently in CEG, the guys that are supposed to uh, work uh, on modularity, which is again one of the things that a bunch of us want. The same team team is working on uh, sewer meshing, so go figure, right? The same team is going to work on, uh, what was it? It was modularity, and then they worked on something else, I, I forgot, honestly. And then they worked on sewer meshing, I guess everybody's working on sewer meshing right now, so that's why, but you, you, you see my point, right? A bunch of people just want their BMM, they just want it. It doesn't matter if it comes with a game loop or not, they just want a BMM. But then again, there, there's like a ton of people that want a Polaris. So if the BMM comes out, the other guys that bought a, a Polaris or a Idris or a Javelin or whatever, they're going to be like, fuck those guys, because they got their uh, BMMs, right? Some people just want their Vulcans or Crucibles or whatever. So that's the issue. Like, some people just want a really good FPS game in, in space, but it's not a good FPS game. It's not a, it's not a good, like, Star Citizen is not good at anything. Like the game itself, they're good at selling ships, they're good at making money and all of that. But like the game itself is not good at anything. But every now and then they release a patch and they give us something that looks like it looks fucking fantastic. Like, for example, for me, it's salvage plus the addition of like uh, multi tool uh, tractor beaming the um, what are they called? components, weapons, and all of that. Then they nerfed that, because fuck you, that's why. But it's still cool, I still want to do it. It's fucking useless, it's pointless, because you cannot store those weapons or components into your uh, inventory, so why would you? Like, you can't sell them, because they're, like, they're cheap. So what's the point? And then the game crashes. Or your uh, character vanishes or you get a 30 key or whatever and you lost all the progress because the game just doesn't work <laughs> you want the kraken yeah i saw that the chat like you guys said a lot of things but i did not catch any any of it i was just like ranting on my own sorry about that um you can be upset about the progress and still want CNG to succeed. Yeah, exactly. In fact, uh, you're sh probably upset because you can't play. My whole point, if you actually want to see the game succeed, there is a balance to be struck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was like one, one question about boycotting. So, tell me what boy boycotting... Do you know of a boycott that actually worked ever anywhere? In the gaming industry, in like real life. Because <laughs> I can tell you that there was a ton of boycotts here in Serbia uh, because of uh, bad governments. And they never worked. Like people were calling uh, uh, other people for like uh, for a boycott, but it never works. And it's the same for a uh, gaming industry. It's the same for everything. The only way to get like a boycott is to have it like happen naturally organically when people just start 
feeling fed up but light you gotta tell me what what like but light is i think actually scar actually told me about uh but light fucking three people said but light at the same time jesus christ all right let me see what you're talking about The criticism of Bud Light amid other complaints about brand par partnerships with transgender people. Oh my god, why are you making me do this? Comes as a Republican state, lawmakers are proposing legislation that seeks to regulate the lives of young uh, translator, uh, tra transgender people, restrict drag shows in a way... I guess I opened this. I, I think I opened this when uh, Scar told me about this. Um, look, I don't know anything about this. But again, am I right or am I wrong when I said that the boycott happened organically because people uh, got pissed off? Is there like a video that I can watch that like tells me exactly what happened? Without like any, without like trying to uh, 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 lobby. <sighs> don't talk about light. No, I don't even know what what's up with that. What's up, space shorts? You're doing the demonetization <laughs> dance. Don't do it. I don't. Look, I don't even fucking know what, what like what happened with it. I, I know we don't need to see your trans history. What are we talking about? I don't even know like the whole thing that happened. I know this card uh told me about it uh at some point, but I honestly forgot. I never drank Bud Light because we can't even buy them in Serbia. Don't get demonetized, don't do it, man. I I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to get demonetized the because I have no idea what's, uh, what's happening with it. But then again, like, whatever uh, happened there, you guys are saying that there was a boycott. But was it a boycott or was it, like, an, an organic thing that happened? Right? Because what, what I'm saying is that only organic, it was probably both. I don't know. So, the first thing that comes to mind that's like gaming related is uh, Duke Nukem uh, 3D. No, uh, Duke Nukem Forever. It took him forever to release it. They released it. And what happened with it? It was so bad that nobody wanted to buy it. Somebody just posted like yesterday uh, a video about um, the worst game ever made. Let me, let me actually play you this. Let me stop the music. So this video is... From Great Big Story, inside the worst video game ever. So this is gonna be like something that I'm trying to convene here. Okay, so let's let's just put it on the table here. Okay, E.T. is frequently cited as one of the worst video games in history. I got to read a magazine that said that my game was single-handedly responsible for the crash of the video game industry in the early 80s. <laughs> That's a good one. People are reticent to ask me about it. They think I'm very sensitive about it. You know, oh my God, you did the worst game of all time. You know, don't you want to hide? And it's like, no. Howard Scott Warshaw. He was a video game programmer for Atari in the early... See, I didn't know about this. I watched this video. It's, it's really short. Uh, I didn't know this because I wasn't born yet. I was born in uh, 1987. So this was before my time. The 80s. 
He made some of the most beloved yeah, games for the Atari 2600. I made Yar's Revenge, then I followed that with Raiders of the Lost Ark. I had had two uh, very successful games, both million sellers. I truly believed that everything I touched hopefully was going to turn to gold because I was going to put everything I had into it. One fateful day, Howard received a call from the CEO of Atari, asking him if he wanted to take on their highest profile game ever. What a nicely produced video, dude. You know what? It's four minutes long. And this probably took him like four to five days to, to finish this for people that are trained to do this. People that know how to do Ever. this. E.T. the extraterrestrial. And I said, we definitely can do that. But there was one major caveat. It had to be something that related to the movie and it had to be doable in five weeks. I mean, I had five, five weeks, weeks to for do a the game. game. So I was working all the time. E.T. was going to be a basic puzzle game with some challenges that you run around to solve. And if I redistribute the pieces among enough different random places, it makes a fresh challenge each time around and bingo. When it was released, E.T. was an immediate success, selling over a million copies. But a few months later, things started to turn. Retailers are starting to find that the game is not moving, it's coming back. A lot of people are disappointed with it. Because of the poor planning and type production schedule. Remember the time where you would like buy a cartridge and you can just like re uh, return it? Do you guys call these like cartridges? Because we, we call them ca cartridges here in, in Serbia. Howard failed to catch a fundamental flaw in the game's design. Yeah, there this was the downfall of, of Atari. I didn't, I didn't even know about this. Make a move, you do something, and suddenly you wind up somewhere else. Now suddenly you're somewhere else. And there's too many places in ET where the user is disoriented. And that's a sin of which... I am guilty, and I have been serving penance. Shortly after E.T.'s release, the video game crash was in full swing. Disappointing sales and mismanagement forced Atari to restructure. And in the next couple of months, Atari went from 10,000 employees to 2,000 employees. During the... Dudes, 8,000 employees? Just gone from the company? 8,000 fucking families? Because of a single game? Turmoil, Howard left the gaming industry for good. He didn't think much about E.T. until nearly a decade later. Well, by the early 90s, people started coming out with what a bad game E.T. was. I was just kind of surprised anybody was actually even talking about it. Good afternoon. Atari games unearthed at a New Mexico landfill are now up for sale. Beaten up cartridges on eBay are going for hundreds. <laughs> 300 bucks for a beat up cartridge. <laughs> dollars a piece. So we had a whole online yeah. where fans could choose right. what game they wanted to see you play. Okay. I love they chose this. E.T. the extraterrestrial. Even 30 years later, this obscure thing that I did so long ago in just five weeks it's still generating excitement and enthusiasm. I get emotional just talking about it now because I just felt I was at the center of something that is still meaningful. And that is a huge success. So when people ask me, you know, was E.T. a failure? I don't mind when people call it that, but it'll never, it'll never be a failure to me. Except 8,000 families were left without like food and shit because of this game. <laughs> The whole company died because of this game. But no, nah, it, it, was, it was not a failure. Let me share this to you. So it's a really good video. So wh what I wanted to show you with this is it was organic, right? It wasn't, the, uh, it wasn't a boycott. And somebody just said it in, in chat. Uh, when, you, when we say boycott, at least here in Serbia, that means that somebody's calling you for a boycott. That there's like a political whatever. Uh, a politician or a social revolutionary or whatever that calls you for a boycott. So, for example, if I call, called for a boycott, like some YouTubers I think did uh, during one of the like sales uh, during uh, uh, for, for Star Citizen, I think it was like um, IE last year or maybe the year prior to that. It doesn't matter. But what happened? It was the best fucking uh, month for uh, Star Citizen ever. And it's always going to happen because, like, nobody's going to listen to you. 
boycotts need to happen organically. That is the only way that a boycott can actually happen. So you know what a um, organic boycott was? The PTV almost winning and them like, uh, uh, what was it? Like ship, ship uh, uh, competition, whatever, for the skin. So they just moved it because we had the MPUV win over MSR, right? And that was organic. And you know what? Last year, uh, or uh, a year prior to that, prior to the PTV, when the MPUV uh, or the Argo Cargo won, and I have like a video for that. I don't know if you watched it. It's a really good video, honestly. I'm really proud of it, and nobody fucking watched it. And I'm going to show it to you right now because I, I played the shit out of that. Um, where is it? Celebration. Okay. So, that was a revolt from, like, people that were pissed off because, like, what's happening with our citizen, right? So, they have a boycott, a, a list of boycotts in history. Yeah, MPUE winning was the best, and it would happen with the PTV too. But they just didn't want to, like, they didn't want it to fucking happen to, to, to for the whole show to, to flop because we are pissed off. So they were sincere uh, a couple of years ago. They were sincere and they said, you know what? Yes, a thousand or a couple of thousand like new accounts were made just to vote for the Argo Cargo. But you know what? Even more was made for the uh, MSR. And still the MPUV won, right? But in the end, even if, if a boycott happens and even if... Uh, um, if a boycott happens. If it happens organically, right? And if people are so pissed off that they don't want to buy anything else, what happens with the game then? The game dies. And do you want the game to die? I'm not saying give them money because you don't want... CS card. Uh, uh, because you don't want uh, 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 the game to die. I'm not saying that. But, like, there's no point in, like, calling people uh, 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 to boycott because, first of all, it's not going to work. Secondly, think about, like, what could happen potentially. You know, I'm not going to stream <laughs> Bot Light. I'm not going to stream, uh, stream that. This is, uh, this is uh, my celebration video uh, for the Argo Car Cargo winning. And I made it because I knew that it's going to win. I'm just going to show you this. In a universe far, far from being completed. A new hero has been born. Enter the Arbo Cargo. Also, yes, this is me playing the guitar and all the instruments. Winner of the annual ship showdown. The most pointless competition ever. The leader of the new resistance. The community has risen against the oppressors. And this is the little ship that could. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Anyway, here's the video if you want to rewatch it. Uh, so. <laughs> Thank you, Bobo. Thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm glad that you guys like it. Uh, yeah, this I had sub 1,000 subscribers.
Uh, no, this is not uh, this is not copyrighted, donut. This is not copyrighted because I just made it for this video. <sighs> anyway, as I, as I was saying, like even if they lose money, they lose money, we lose the game. That's the issue. Anyway, should I log back in or should I continue reacting? Should we try to make some money or should we uh, react to a couple of more videos? We have a video from Rivergrift, birthday truck. Okay, never heard of him. And that's it. Thank you, Alan. What do you guys want to do? Star Citizen and chill, or you wanna you wanna continue with this? Sure, another 30k. Okay, sure. You just like seeing me suffer. Yeah, I do own you copyright. So this, here's the thing. This is why uh, Starstream said that. No, who was it? Who said that? It wasn't Starstreams. Space Shorts. Sorry. Sorry, space shorts. Like star streams SS. Space shorts SS. Two words. Right? <laughs> anyway, star is in Dutch. Um, anyway, uh, the reason why he said that is because uh, I think I told him already that uh, I got like a copyright strike a bunch of times on my own videos by my own publisher. Set, uh, watch videos until the servers are up. No, the servers are up. I was just like waiting for the, the server that I was on to... You can call me Star Streams anytime. <laughs> uh, I, was just <laughs> I was just waiting for the server that I was on to spool up so I can maybe get back on it. And it was like a half an hour to an hour. So I think we should try it now, right? If not... We lost everything. We can try it again, I guess. Star Streams doesn't wear space shorts while flying. <laughs> uh, shorts, should I? Should I? No, I'm, I'm gonna ask you that uh, in private. But the question, did you make your merch already? Also, I have, I have perfect merch for you. Space shorts, give me a second. I just gotta find it on, on uh, stream elements. Ah, uh, revenue. Let's see merch. Give me a second. I'm gonna laugh at this. Like they say, if in Star Citizen, if server broke, play DZ. <laughs> okay, so I I didn't want to spoil it. That's why I didn't uh, I didn't want to ask you live, so people know about the shorts, right? So speaking of shorts, you can do it through um, whatever this is, uh, stream elements. I, I almost said uh, fucking star streams again. I think I'm getting tired, but did you see this? Space shorts, tier zero sweatpants in their shorts. Ah, big rain. Nobody fucking bought them. I think it's funny. <laughs> but yeah somebody just got the concept hoodie i bought a concept hoodie and all i got was this lousy loner t-shirt anyway back to star citizen 
so yeah we we lost all the things that we had well we had two crates on the uh corsair fun times fun times let me suicide for a second no okay oh do you you do actually like lose some health here now they changed it oh my god I don't care. You dig it? I mean, dude, just like check, check, um, stream elements. Oh my god, this is so jank. What did they do to the, like, public transportation and, uh, the elevators in the last patch? Dude, this is the same server we were on. So you guys on YouTube, if you rewind, you can see that there were three bodies right here the last time I was in. And this is... I didn't check the server shot, unfortunately. But I'm pretty... I'm, like... Pretty sure that uh, this is the same server. But fuck it. Let's try it. Where's me... Corsair. Unknown location. We gotta claim it. Fun. No, you should let people buy a t-shirt, give them the wrong one, and instead tell them you're working on a hoodie. No, you just give them a string. Like one single like thread. And that's it. And then you say, well, we're working on a hoodie. But this is a thread that's going to be, like, in your t-shirt at some point. Maybe. If we uh, release it. If people don't <laughs> boycott us. Uh, no, I am back on the... I'm pretty sure that I'm back on the server, and this shard was here the last time I was on. So, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm certain that I'm on the same server again, but I'm not in my Corsair, therefore, the Corsair is lost. Thank you, Buck, for the one... for the one Buck. Um, yeah, so I lost, I lost the Corsair and the stuff that it had in it. So yeah, fun times. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. By the way, uh, you can check out my merch store. There's like even more funny things there. You don't need to buy anything if you don't want to. But if you do want to, that's the best way to support your favorite content creator. Me. I thought they said they fixed it, so if you 30k hauling, you don't lose it. Um, I know about Heartbeat, and I'm wondering if um, that leader was right right now. Because Heartbeat was implemented, I don't know, 3, 15, 16 maybe. And once we got PES, uh, Heartbeat... Suddenly was like obsolete. And with PES and Heartbeat not working, the server list not being there, or us not having a server list where we can choose uh, exactly the server we played on, I think that like it completely renders the Heartbeat and the PES obsolete. But then again, maybe it's just bugged. Because I'm pretty sure that I was uh, on the same server because of this mess here and this shard here. So, I don't know. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Did they make it so it automatically stored when you 30k? Yeah, so it was store 
uh, back at the same spot where you were last uh, seen. So if you were on Grimhax or let's say on Tressler, you landed there. Uh, maybe you picked up something along the way, but the, your, your your ship that you were in when you 30 keyed is going to be or should be back in the station uh, where you like touched down last, right? Last time. Or however you say that. Where's my Corsair? There we go. Two more minutes. But now, if you 30k, yeah, it persists. And uh, the vehicle is going to be there. And since I was doing a salvage mission in the middle of nowhere on Michael 1, I'm never going to find it. So I lost 40k that I invested on uh, uh, to get those uh, two salvage missions. And I lost the things that were in my uh, Corsair. Like the cargo. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a disconnect or a 30k. Well, actually... See, here's the issue. There is no matchmaking, there is no uh, server list, but they said that you should get back into the same server if the server is empty or, like, not full completely, or if there's space on the server, and if you choose the same region, right? So, that's all cool, and that's why I think that, that we're on the same server. But the issue is that we're not back in the cutter, in the uh, Corsair. Can you set a sleeping point in it? In what? In the Corsair? I mean, not really. Yeah, your player goes back to the to the same spot. Calling this space gambling? It sure is, honestly. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle. Honestly, it, it's basically the the perfect definition of what this is. You invest a lot, you can earn a ton of money or alpha USC, but then again you might lose everything. Can you get the illegal 150k salvage mission without the vulture or leveling prior missions? Yes, yes you can. Well, I'm not sure about 150k, but let me see. If I have it, then yes, because I never did it. Personal. Oh look, the cursor is not bugged anymore. Wow. Okay. 10k. 10k, 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 30k, 30. Well, we're not mentioning that that number. Uh, I think we can't because last stream I accepted it, but uh, yeah, I think you need a med bed. No, because uh, it, the same happened to me on the Carrick, and I was like, I spawned in the station again. Can I ask for a personal transfer beacon to it? I don't know where it is, dude. That's the issue. I have no idea where it is. Even the terminal says unknown. And I know that like it's somewhere on Michael 1, but that's it. See, like I never tried the Drake Caterpillar salvage rights missions because 50,000 admission? No. Like I have almost 200k Somebody just sent me some money. No, I have like almost 200k, like 190k. So this here, I will fucking go bankrupt if the the first caterpillar didn't like carry any cargo, basically, because if I got the the, the next caterpillar mission, there will be like a hundred 100k total, and you don't know what you're gonna get, honestly. So, if even if you get something, you might 30k. But honestly, you know what? It's still it's still fun. Somehow it's still fun, and I still want to do it. I'm, I'm not I'm not even like lying to you now. 
I really want to do it. I'm, 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 I really want to play Star Citizen. And I really want to do these, these missions and get the cargo. Honestly, without the cargo, I would love if those uh, ships had, like, if, if those guns that you took off or components that you took off of the ships would sell for, like, more than nine Alpha UAC. That would be amazing. But since that's never going to happen, then, like, this is the next best thing. And the game is not, like... Hello? Didn't I just click on a fucking Cutlass mission? Yeah, I did. Okay. Now it... This is super responsive. Welcome to the ASOC just finished talking to the cops? Why were you talking to the cops? See you, JT. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Yeah, medbed is only useful if you die. But we're not gonna do that. Right? We're not even gonna, like, move from the terminal because... There we go. Great. Hangar 9. The dog broke off the lead. Apparently gave him some grief. Trying to get her. What? Do you own a police dog? Time to build a fence? What? Mystery, you're so erratic today. Honestly, I, I, like... <laughs> what? Oh my god, thank you, Lieutenant Heavy Metal, for the 50 bucks, Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate it very much, uh, because, you know what? I am fucking knee-deep deep in, in depth because of the new PC, honestly. So, thank you, from the heart. So, I just set my controls, but I... Keep on forgetting what what is what is which. Oh, hello. Okay, oh, no, it was just like laggy as fuck. You know what? I don't see. Oh yeah, I can see it in in uh, on YouTube, in the chat. Thank you, heavy metal. Take your salvager to bunker missions. So many abandoned rented ships. At each bunker love the content thank you um i don't know why my tts is not working it should have like read what you said but i guess i gotta set it up again oh i know that this is gonna make you dizzy um should we do that or should we just try to make a lot of money because here honestly i don't really like salvaging like like using those beams to salvage right but i wanted to show people that you can actually make a ton of money uh on this stream so let me first do that and i'm gonna am i gonna clip the wings no i'm not collision alert i can't even move my camera i have no idea where i am Alrighty. Oh, this is fairly close. My dog makes holes in my fence and under. She's an escapee. Well, uh, an escape artist and a ninja. My dog just brought home by the cops. Just got brought home by the cops and she was growling and snipping at him. Huh. But wh wh why, why was she, like, taken by the cops, though, Mr. E? Was she in jail? Was she, like, 
incarcerated. Gel wash simulator looks pretty boring. Shaping components looks fine. Yes. Oh, you know what? Actually, heavy metal might as well do that, but without the vulture, right? Because as far as I know, if the vehicles are abandoned, you might like you are you should be able to shoot them and uh, soft death them. Once you do that, you can get the components if the ship uh, is like one of the newer ships, like the NSR or the Corsair or, or whatever. So you know what? We can try to do that. But the issue is, do the components and the weapons from player ships, do they sell for any money? Like, is that, like, good money or is it still 9 Alpha UAC per gun? Because, like, it's not worth it when it comes to uh, salvage missions, right? And I don't know if it works with the player ships, player own ships. Free fly bros have the doors open. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So did you man did you manage to sell the components? Like are like is the income any good? That's the question. Because like the whole stream is about making a lot of money. Like so far we made no money. If anything we lost 40,000. You made 450,000? Jesus Christ. Might as well do that. All right, let me do this first. Maybe another one of these, and then we're gonna go for the... You said bunker missions, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Might be fun. She was perfectly nice when... He let her out of the car, though. He said complete 180-degree flip when she saw me. Oh, so you, you thought her tricks, right? <laughs> you know what? Uh, sorry, Miss Ari. I'm just, like, trying to uh, be weird towards you. For uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. Because you, you weirded me out... At the start of the stream. <laughs> so now I'm just like... Trying to act like I'm completely confused with like whatever you say. But, uh, what's the breed of the dog, by the way? You make more money from a Starfarer in stripping than a hammerhead with taking the guns. Yeah, the guns are useless right now. At least the salvage... Uh, mission guns. I'm not sure about the player ships. I mean, uh, Heavy Metal just told us that it's pretty good. <laughs> All over the place, man. Just ignore me. Nah, you're good. You're good. Wanna jump? Nope. Alright. Great. Thank you. So, what anvil ships could have components? Well, you might still find one or two ships from yesterday, I guess. Would you please fucking jump to the location? Just calibrate, please. Fucking hell. Dude, I hate this. I honestly hate this.
300k from just stripping with what? With a vulture? I honestly hate Karak. Oh yeah, the Karak actually got um the Karak actually got the some of the components in the back. It's a good shot. For these, you gotta star map them? I did. I have. Oh, you mean once you drop off? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Look, they changed it. I think they changed it for like 317. And they added like more jump points in the systems. Which I guess I understand. But also, like, do they think anything true? Before they like introduce it to the game and give it to the players. I'm probably gonna crash into a fucking asteroid because I can't see if there's anything because of the salvage claim and then the marker and then the crosshair and all that shit. For years I was waiting for salvaging, I always thought the cutting module would be used. Now is the last thing to have a use for the multi-tool, yeah. As far as I know, the cutting um, module, or like the thing for the multi-tool, actually works. I might be wrong, honestly, but I think it works on doors. Uh, I remember at one point that... I think it was like before I started YouTubing that uh, a friend showed me showed me that like he he opened the door on I'm gonna say maybe an MSR like the back door the ramp with the, uh, with the cutting tool but yeah may I join you yeah I asked you if you want to join me sure buddy yeah all right hop into my community Discord I think you're there already. I'm just gonna hop into the live channel and I'm gonna drag you in. Or you wanna do it in, in your Discord. I'm fine with that too. Well, there was a purpose. I understand the purpose, Alan, but, uh, or Alan, but I, I, I don't understand, like, the UI is so, it, it's, it's too jank. I don't know. I, I just don't understand how, how, like, it seems like there's no, like, quality control there. But you know that there is. Oh, you, you don't want to talk to me, Star? Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's fine if she's watching TV in the background. I, I don't. I don't care, honestly. I mean, I don't care about the uh, sound. I just want to talk to you. I didn't talk to you in a while. But yeah, I, I think we should have each other on the friend on the old like friends list. If not, just like send me a. A friendly invite. Do I ever fly, fly the couple? Yes, I do. Mostly when I uh, fight. Uh, but the couple got a change. At least like in these... Uh, I don't know if this is new. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if this is new. It is new to me. So you see that I'm, like my ship is slowing down and decoupled. And I know that they were talking about that in the clouds. Maybe this this is like a thing that happened like a long time ago. I might clip a wing. No, okay. Uh, and then I just forgot about it. But to me, for some reason, this is new. Well, let's talk then, Star. If you want to, of course. So some people uh, were saying that 
I think I dis disabled the zooming. I guess it didn't. Um, some people would say, well, why, why don't you scan it? And I tried scanning, but the time where I got like a full cutty, and this cutty seems to be like one of those, um, the issue was that the scans showed nothing. And then the cutty was full. So let's see what we get here. I brought my multi-tool. Yeah, it defeats the purpose. I don't know if that's like... So I know that they wanted to slow down, to have ships slow down. Oh, this is so jank. I don't like this. Um, I know that they wanted to have the ship slow down simply because of... Uh, Ships going into soft death mode or state. Okay, a bit more to the right. Like this, I guess. Send me a friend request? Okay. Let me see it. You can just close it. Holy shit, there's. What? I didn't get it. It should be at the top, right? That's weird. Are you sure that you sent me uh, a friend request? Because it's one PI, one word, capital G, capital E. I think. Should be. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if... It, maybe it's... Uh, I'm starting to think, Kirby, that this is not a new thing. That I actually heard about it. And that they did it just for these clouds. Because, like, the cloud has mass, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. And then, like, they want to do it here. Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay, 20k wasted again. Fuck's sake. Bummer. Did you see that, like, perfect MLG landing? That's the only thing I'm good at right now, honestly. Alright, abandon this one. I guess we can go to Damar and do um, what uh, Heavy Metal said. Let me just see. I'm gonna try to get another one. If not, fuck it. Maybe something close to here or close to Crusader. Eclipse, Freelancer. Freelancer uh, can also have stuff inside of him. So might as well try this one. Connie can have stuff inside of him. Connie's. I don't see another Cuddy, unfortunately. Alright, Cruel 5? No. Let me see, where, where am I right now? Curl 4. Shit, okay. Michael 4, Michael 2. Arkel 1? Nope. L5. I already forgot where I am. Not gonna lie. Curl 4. Okay. <laughs> I'm not seeing any, like, close to here. There is a hammerhead salvage thing. Uh. 
50,000, I'm not going to spend that much. I, I just don't have enough money for that. Arkle 4. Fucking all. Okay, I guess we're going to go for the bunkers earlier than I thought. I noticed that the battlefield contract came up, multi-ship salvage. Which one? I, I was not looking at the thing. Oh, this one? <laughs> yeah, Crawl 5 is... Well, I'm right next to me. I want to go back to uh, Crusader. You want to take this one, Star? I mean, I have 270k. And this is like a 150k admission. Also, it would be really helpful if we were in like voice chat together. Star. Take the big one, Grumpy Go. No, 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 no. Don't peer pressure me. That, don't peer pressure me. I want to see what Star wants to do. Also, Star, say hello, Kaina. For me. I'm waiting to start to respond or call me or do anything on, on Discord or in chat or whatever. No? Oh, hang on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me just drink something while I'm waiting. Um, helmet, please. Thank you. All right, so one more thing about the inventory. When I drag and drop a thing on top of my guy, I would expect for it to interact with my guy. But no, you got to drop it here, which seems suspiciously, well, it's basically the same icon as this one. And then, come on, there we go. You taking the multi-contract? Right, where is it, though, Star? What are my specs? 7950X, uh, 4090 a uh, 64 gigs of DDR5 uh, where's the helmet now she's in chat what are we talking about oh there's the helmet that's what I wanted who oh, Hannah I didn't see her We're, we're star. Okay. So yeah, I have a. It's north of Craw Crawl Four. Alrighty. Yeah. 
halfway towards Coral 5. They spawn like in the middle of nowhere, really? Huh. Alright, I guess I'll need to jump to you then, right? Alright. I guess I'll jump to crawl 4, cancel the jump once you get there. I'm gonna be slow anyway, because like, this is a, a stock ship. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna jump to you, Stark. This is so awkward, reading the chat, trying to connect with you, honestly. Also, does anybody know, like, what these... Uh, I'm gonna say shards are, because this should be, like, a vehicle, but it's not. Yeah, I always have a fan with me. I have the best fans ever. My fans are fucking fantastic. This is my top fan. And I have a bottom fan for my bowls. But it's under this so I can't show you. No, it's cool, Star. I'm uh, I'm happy to have you here, even in spirit. <laughs> I will need to end the stream soonish, in an hour maybe. Because I'll need to order some food for my girlfriend and I. Where am I from? Serbia. Read the chat at your convenience. Focus on the gameplay until those bit subs and supporters come in. Nah. It's not it's not even like that. I'm just like I can't focus on both things because I basically only have one eye that's working. Hence grumpy eye. Uh Oh, you're waiting for your ship? Okay, it's fine. I guess I'll I'll be at Cruel 4 then. That's why I'm, um... ECN alert, network intrusion. Where? Why am I getting this? I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's not even here. Okay. Weird. Siberia. Don't make me f bomb you, Scard. He's a, an honorary British guy. Am I though? I mean, I guess I do like waiting in queues and queuing up for stuff. I really loved queuing for uh, three eighteen. Probably a Microsoft for, for Ghost Hollow. I mean, I guess. But why, why am I getting the notification here, though? 
That's weird. Also, you want to know another, like, I, I, like, this is, I guess, content. Do you know, do you want to know another weird thing about me? My fan, my biggest fan knows about already. I can basically snap every bone in my body. Every, like, joint. And I know that this is freaking people out. Yeah, the eye, the eye, uh, so I had a, an accident when I was a kid. You can probably see it here. I am balding, so you should be able to see it. Uh, I had a car accident when I was a kid. I had a brain, uh, a swelling on the brain and all of that. So, uh, this side of the brain controls this eye. And it didn't help that a guy... This is gonna be like sound funny and I was a, a, a wanderer and a traveler like you until I took the arrow to the eye, which actually uh, happened. A guy like point blank shot a wooden arrow and hit my eyelid. So my eyelid, like I have optosis and that like heavily affected my uh, sight. So yeah. I guess, like, without glasses, I will be basically blind. The other eye is fucking perfect. It's amazing how, how good it is. So, basically, nobody wanted to, uh, like, sell me a monocle. I, I would really, except Star Citizen, of course, as a, except CAG. I really wanted to have a monocle. I think that's, like, just cool and weird in 2023 or 2018 when I got the glasses. Right, Star, I'm just going to wait for you until you... Stop somewhere, and I'm gonna jump to you, I guess. I, I don't see you on the map. Oh, no, I do. Okay. No pity, just rise up like you have. <laughs> what are we talking about? No, I, I know that like uh, me popping my joints like... Um, Alright, sorry. Then like it freaks out my girlfriend. I'm like really... This is just like... Jesus Christ, this light. Um, I'm really happy that she loves me, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think your distance is gonna update on like until you stop. Unless they fix that. Because like that was bugged for ages. Yeah, I have a tractor being ready. I used to wake up mid-sleep just to crap my back and go back to sleep. Go do it in a few minutes. Yeah. I get it. I can even crack like this. It's not even a joint like here. Sometimes. Yeah, Star. So like, I think they changed it. So they didn't have to update distances for players. So, you know when like somebody goes like 20k away from you and then they're like 40k suddenly and then like you get uh, close to them and then you miss them because the, the marker didn't update. They added that just to like uh, um, not have like such a strain on the servers I guess. I don't know. They could have just added a cloud as Dead Leader would say it.
Maybe just had f to hurl five for a couple of mini clicks. Actually, clicks are not kilometers. Actually, clicks are the margins on the map. I mean, I, I guess it could. Fuck it, let's do it. The thing is, I'm probably gonna miss you. I mean, I, I already miss you, Star. <laughs> How much do you reckon? Five, ten? Somewhere in between? Yeah, the chest and the spot in the ribs uh, is super painful sometimes. Especially when you get a little older. I, I guess you're like above 30 because it started hurting when I got like to 29, 30 when I was uh, 10 million ish. All right, stop it. Hopefully, I, I will be able to jump to you because. I think I can. Yeah, I should be able to. This star map. You know, you know what the funniest thing is? This star map, like they're gonna redo it and all of that, great. But then it's gonna take him like five, seven years to do. You made it. You arrived. You're still at Cruel 1 for me. Oh, okay. Got it. Gotcha. It's still gonna take him like a while to finish the game, so they're probably gonna rework it again. So, yeah. So, should we expect any baddies here, Star? I never did this one. Hostile player? Well, shit, I'm in a fucking Corsair. And even if I wasn't, I didn't play in a long time. Try not to die, please. Do you think there will be a snowball effect at all? No. You know why? Because we have all the reports on like all the things that they're working on. So, oh, he's in the A2. Should we pop him? Because I can do it in the Corsair. So yeah, we, we know about all the things that they're working on. So, like, what? How, how is there gonna be a snowball if they're only working on like things that we know about? You've seen Star Streams videos, right? You're gonna end up in jail. <laughs> Thank you, Heavy Metal. Got a roll on third shift graveyard worker in the US. Keep it up, Grumpy. Thank you, Heavy Metal, for the twenty bucks. You're amazing. Good luck, I guess. I guess I'm also third shift, but like I'm, I'm I am that because I'm like struggling in with, with uh, insomnia. But yeah, all right. Let's see what happens here. Star, should we should we kill this guy? Uh, central, please. There we go. It seems like he just took some damage. Oh, okay. 
Okay, he dead. Oh! <laughs> Is he dead though? No, he's not. He popped chaff. Alright. I'm coming in. Star is just like a, a cold blooded murderer. Are we killing this guy, Star? Dead? Who's dead? You're dead. What the fuck? He's not dead. He's alive. I think he's going after you. Oh, he's gonna try and ram you. I lost him. I got him. One of the hits fucking connected to Jesus Christ. I gotta do it like this because oh my god you almost hit me sorry oh he's hitting me dude I did not fight in a while The shape oh, okay my shoulders are going down i'm not liking the layout of the mfds here his shields are still fine dude and you know what he's gonna jump out before we kill him so we need like a torpedo boat for this What are you flying, Star? Dude, the fact that he that he turns better than I do in much smaller ship is fucking amazing, isn't it? Crazy. God damn it. Also, my ship is completely stuck, so that's not helping. Is his shield, is his shield? Yeah, the front shield is halfway down.
so stupid, honestly. <laughs> oh, this is so not engaging, honestly. Star, just keep the pressure on the nose, I guess. It has two size 3 shields, exactly. And a ton of HP. And if I lose my wing, I'm dead. And he's constantly trying to ram me. See? Fucking evasives. Yeah, no, his shield is fucking back up, dude. See, this is me just being stationary, basically. He just goes into me every fucking time. So we're into, like, in this... Slow, shitty... Jousting... Yeah, my shield is almost down. I gotta disengage for a second there. Yeah, you're in a bleed? Yeah, you're never gonna get the shields down on that thing. Pressure on. Like, he knows if my shield goes down, I'm dead, basically, because my wing is gonna fall off just by looking at it. Look at him trying to fucking ram me over and over again. <sighs> I feel like I'm punching above my weight, dude. I really feel like I'm punching above my weight. With a with a corsair. Slow it down. All right, the shield is down. On the back, he rams me again. Sure, buddy. Good job, Star. 
gonna try and hit me again. And he hits me again. Nope, okay. And he's gonna jump. No? Really? Corsair is red, like if he rams me once more, I'm dead. I'm trying to hit his back, but I'm. What the fuck? Hello? What was that? What was that? What? What is this? What is this green shit? What is happening? I lost my weapons? What happened to my weapons? The fuck happened to my weapons? Okay. Update my drivers. My drivers like like the latest drivers. What gas? So yeah, his shields are back up, like, it takes him a fucking second to get him back up. And now we're, like, back at the fucking start, basically. Me trying not to get rammed. Start trying not to get one-tapped. Alright, he's going for me again. There he goes, he fucking rams me again. Okay. And he's going for the ram again. What an asshole. Hopefully there's no shield holes in this patch, because if there are, I'm dead. And he goes for the ram again. What the fuck is this? A war of attrition?
You know, you know what's gonna be funny? Even if we manage to kill him, he's gonna be back with, like, a torpedo boat. And he's going for the ram. <sighs> Not doing the game any favors if this is ship combat. Yeah. I almost died spawning here, by the way. Is the graphics card overheating? No, it's not. 35% load, temperature 42. It's a water cold, 4090. Yeah, start, like, try to keep pressure on him. I, I really can't deal with a ram because, like, he is more maneuverable than I am. What a boring fight. Thank you. I mean, if you want to, Star, yeah, sure. What's up, Lutch Notch? I will need to hop out, like, soon. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. There we go, another Red Baron flying over me. Let me see if I have anything to deal with this guy. I do. Inferno? Inferno. Just leave him? Nah. Nah. It's, um... It's a matter of pride now. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming back with an Inferno, but I lost the multi-tool, I lost the foods, I lost everything. Star. Inferno, you might run out of ammo. Well, I guess... There's one way to test it out, I guess. Actually, let me get rid of the medical gown. Oh, this guy just went. Alright. Yeah, there's a new PTU, 319.1. We talked about that at the start of the stream. I thought it was gonna go into the alive. You have stuff? Nice. Thank you. Just try to survive. And I'll be there. I can suicide to get a polar. Once we once we get, kill the guy. See. This flickering is still here. This is here for like almost two years. Jesus Christ, guys. What are you doing? Alright, he just ran off. Oh, he's gonna be back. I'm gonna jump to you, Star. Yeah, we heard him a lot. Especially you, uh, focusing on the back. I just couldn't, like, get my guns on the back. The the Corsair is so sluggish. Where's the jump point? Alright. 
jump? Yes? No? Whatever this was. Hello? Game? No? Okay. Wait. What's up, Blue Rage? Plenty of salvage. What do you mean by that, Star? Like, inside the ships, or... Should I get a salvage ship? So should I come back with a, with another ship, Star? <sighs> He's coming back. Well, he is probably, yeah. I mean, he spent 150,000. All right, so if he's coming back, I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm, like, more useful with the, steal the cargo? With what, Star? Do you want me to turn back and get uh, another ship for hauling? I, I think that's a yes. I'm not sure. Because, <laughs> like, the lag on, on YouTube is killing me. Honestly. But you know what? You want to you wanna hop to Quirrell 4 and grab another ship? Because if anybody's going to take him down, it's going to be me with the uh, Inferno. Right? Because the blades is not just... It's just not going to cut it for the... For the C2. If he comes back in the C2. If not, then I guess I'm fucked. Alrighty, I'm coming. This is such a weird way to, to, to communicate, Star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm almost there, actually. This one drive is actually pretty good, pretty fast. It's a stock one, too. Oh, you're welcome, Blue Rage. Oh, he's back? Alright. I'm almost there, Star. I see him. Contact. Oh, yeah. It would be nice to see his uh, shields and all of that, but sure. Whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm in control still oh he jumped off he jumped it's only 10% slower than the XL1 that's good to know seeing another shard could be star yeah star My body's over there. You know what? I might as well just go for my body and grab the multi-tool. Never mind. It's... What? What? How is it 16 million kilometers away? We didn't fight for 16 million kilometers. What the fuck? Never mind.
Was that a question star or or a statement? If you want to go for it, go for it. I'm going to cover you. With the inferno. This maneuver is fucking amazing compared to the Corsair. But it does not have a light. Want me to pull back? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll pull back. There you go. You know what? I've been meaning to do this. For us two. Zebedee curves. Flight. Flight movement. Edit curve. Is there... Oh my god, it just resets. Jesus Christ. Dead zone. Dead zone. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And 0.5. And I should be good now. Yeah, okay. Because for some reason I can't uh, center my uh, left stick. Remnant tree, spirits, and well, that's really good stuff, dude. Oh, yeah, I, th I thought you were gonna hop in. I didn't know you were gonna scan it because scanning doesn't really work that well. Go only for the hammerhead, the other ones are empty. Well, he just said that the mechanic has shit inside of it. I can bet you that we're gonna 30k while doing that. I guess Star is off to to get some uh, some good goods. A better ship for this, right? Nope, he's not scanning. The flickering of the screen is just like, come on, guys! This is like a. What is it? $150 ship. And it's been like this for fucking ages. The hammerhead is loaded with stuff. I guess we go for the hammerhead first. Alright, do you want do you want me to go and take uh the best I can do is a caterpillar. But it's gonna take me a while to spawn it. Star. I don't have my scanning set up still, so here goes nothing. Probably gonna shoot it now, I don't know. No, I'm scan- I'm actually ca scanning, I think. Am I though? Oh my god, can't see shit. Alrighty. No, I'm not. Left click. You're gonna grab the max? Okay. Holy shit. Grasping weevil eggs. Jesus Christ. Gold maze. What about the Karak, though?
Remnant tree, pollen. That's really good. Altrusia toxin. Or Altrusia toxin, whatever. That's also good. It's not the best loot, but it's it sells for a lot. Let me see. Ores. Okay, so the Starfarer doesn't have shit on it, basically. Is there something else here? This is us. Oh, this is nothing. Never mind. Yeah, we just grabbed the like the green crates, I guess. Star. Now the question is. Never mind. It was a stupid question. Never mind. What's up, Eduardo? I was thinking maybe I destroy the ships so we can get the crates outside. So it's easier for us, so we don't need to, like, get inside the ships. But we might lose the cargo in the process, so never mind. I'm starting to think that this... Uh, like... My ship is moving. It's, like, always at, like, one kilometer or meter per, per what per second so I'm starting to think that this has nothing to do with my left stick maybe it does because I just like pulled the dead zone up yeah all's good All is good. I want to see your reaction to the latest Montoya video. Um, well, post it in my uh, community Discord. Let me see. Which one is it? I'm not sure. Is it uh, that like this month is the best month for Star Citizen ever? Or is it the, the drama? Because I don't want to talk about uh, like, I don't want to have any drama here. I already talked about this, like, a couple of hours ago on the stream. No, I'm not decoupled. I'm coupled right now. I don't think it's, it's the stick, because it's not happening in any other game. But you never know. It could be the stick. I centered it. The sticks are st centered, so I don't fucking know, honestly. Uh, but this is not the first time, and... It also happened with the VKBs, and it was always the left stick for some reason. So, I'm thinking that it has something to do with the game or whatever. Yeah, Eduardo, I don't want to talk about that because, um, first of all, right, here's my, if, if, if you're interested in, in my thoughts on the whole thing, uh, what Mad Runners did was and I told I told uh, Star Streams this uh, in private basically. What Med Runners did is something that you don't really do, uh, honestly, like towards another content creator. But it's um, it's hard to defend Khaleesi because he knew what he was doing. Uh, I, like whatever videos that he saw from him are just like troll videos, and he's always a troll. Yeah, the, the Carrick is dead, but this is a mission. We didn't kill it. Uh, so, he started, like, he, uh, he was not friendly towards them at the start. Then I heard that, like, him and his friends, uh, did the same thing, like a copyright strike to other people. Which, like, it just goes deeper and, like, whatever. The only thing that I can tell you is, I gotta talk to the med runners because, uh, of my reactions to, to some videos. Because there was some, like, other drama before. And I, st I still have to do it, but I just, uh, I'm not streaming that much. Yeah. Look, like, any type of drama uh, in a game that barely fucking works is just, like, cringe, dude. 
honestly. Man, runners pull the douche move, but they get too much grief. I don't know, honestly. Like, who am I to say anything about that? The only thing that I can tell you is, when it comes to, like, uh, copyright claims and, and all of that, uh, nobody talked about, for example, is my ship still moving or am I just tripping? I'm tripping. Um, nobody talked about, what's his name? Oh my god, he, his, his name es escapes me. Uh, the guy with like a really deep voice, he's an American, race, uh, race guide. So he got a copyright strike from uh, Star Citizen itself. What's up, GFA? You guys want to join me? I mean, Star Streams is here with me, but he's like here in spirit. <laughs> They're paving the way. Who is? Medrunners? I mean, yeah. I don't know. Honestly, like, real talk here. I had two orgs. Semi-serious orgs, not like um, role-play LARPing orgs, whatever. It was uh, like a bunch of friends. In the end, uh, the first one, the other guy that I was leaning the org with, he was not cool. As we all thought that he was, but in the end, uh, he just wasn't cool. He, he was not a good guy. So we left and I made another one. And had it for like a couple of months maybe like six months but like 317 dropped oh john is trying to connect nice we have some actual reinforcements so all in all i didn't play for a while people got pissed off because they didn't play uh because 317 was bad and i just didn't want to like waste my time honestly and uh some people left some of the like people that i made the org with also left uh they were really jaded they started like attacking me now they're like here on site with me like whenever they see me in the verse they just attack me bad ram me and all that for whatever reason i did i i didn't do anything to them but sure like whatever flows their boat so what i'm saying here is like having a super serious org in a game at this state in, in, like this time at this oh somebody's here yep the guy is back to fight Untapped. i don't even fucking know oh it's an eclipse sure it is If this thing connects with me, I'm dead. I'm not really sure what this uh, notification sound is because it's not yelling at me. I'm not seeing any anything on my screen, like I'm locked or something. But sure. I'm gonna say that this missile is defeated, but I'm not sure. I ha I have no idea where this guy is now. And yeah, I told you he's gonna come back with like uh with something with, with missiles. I don't even see him now. Oh. No, you're you, no, no, no. I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna get to you. He's off. The sun is not helping. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this sun... Like, look. S 
similar things happen in uh, DayZ. So it looks beautiful and all of that. But then again, you can choose to uh, use sunglasses. And once you do, uh, you don't have these issues. With the glare and shit. So, Star, I will need to... <laughs> I'll need to hop back to you because I, I have no idea where the uh, claim is. Where the thing is. Let me ping, maybe I'm gonna find it. Nope, nothing. The brightness settings don't really mess up this patch. Did you see my MFDs? Speaking of messed up. Contact. Where the fuck? Oh, here. You don't. And now he's gonna hop off, and he's gonna be coming back every couple of minutes. And he's gonna be a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah, Daisy got a new patch today. I gotta... I gotta check it out. You're nervous with the max? Well, you know what? I think your... Um, EM and IR are gonna be, like, obscured by the... Obscured? Obstructed? I don't know. Whatever word. By the emissions of the, uh... Garak, the Hammerhead, and all of that. If I play DZ, I'd stop playing Star Citizen. I only played the game at a time, really. Uh, yeah, I stopped pl playing Star Citizen because my... Well, because of a bunch of reasons. But I, I couldn't stream, I couldn't do anything, so... Uh, the only thing that I could do is play an old game, which was, uh... He's gonna be a cockroach, yeah. Which was uh, Daisy, and Daisy is just fucking fantastic. Honestly, it does have some issues with like, uh, like graphical issues. It just doesn't look really that good. But you know what? It doesn't it doesn't look bad either? Anyone else coming in? I haven't played since the added grenade launchers and forty mics. Ammo types. Yeah, so now you have a crossbow and a longsword. <laughs> GFA, you want to hop in into my community Discord or you want to hop into the Discord uh, that we have? Like the content creator thingy. So we can talk there. Star is not going to talk to us, IRL. Daisy demands your time though, and yeah, you get stuck indoors too often. Uh, doors. Sucking, sticking doesn't really happen uh, that much. I didn't, um, I didn't fix my computer. I got a new one, and that's why, like, I need monies. I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you have a like a full armor set of uh, Gmail and all that. But yeah, DayZ is an amazing game, honestly. I spent... Yeah, I mean, you can lose a bunch of time, like, ex especially if you're playing on a server where, like, you have base building and all of that. If you saw my base in um, in DayZ that I built on that server where we played at, it's, it's huge. It's huge. Let me play some music. There we go. This is still loud. Thank you. Almost there already. I don't even see you moving.
No, it wasn't a PS4 glitch. Um, it still happens sometimes, but occasionally. I haven't really played Scum. But, but not really, but I never played Scum uh, purely because I wasn't into like those kinds of games. And then I just wanted to try DayZ and I got hooked. I don't like uh, a couple of things about Scum. Uh, I also didn't like what they did when they were in the early alpha stages or early access stages. Oh, okay, Sar just like landed somewhere. Let me find him. I would assume that my ping would work at 57 kilometers, but I guess I'll, I will be wrong. Alright, I'm right behind you, Star. You know what? I will honestly go for the hammerhead first. But I guess this is gonna be good also. <laughs> the EVA. You don't like the metabolic thing from Scum? You always like BS? Um, I don't know. My stomach is making noises. I should probably eat. It's weird that my microphone actually picked it up. <laughs> now go for it, Star. Just go for it. Just almost died on the ramp. Amazing. What did they do on uh, uh, with the alpha? So they were looking for ways how to monetize the game. And now, uh, as far as I remember, uh, Scum developers are Croatian, so like they're basically my neighbors, they're brothers, so or brothers of mine. So not literally, but you understand, like Serbians and Cro Croatians are brothers. Uh, so, I would support the shit out of him. I think Star is having some issues there. Star, are you okay? <laughs> he dies on me, I swear to God. So, like, naturally I would support them, but there was a thing with, like, the monetization, and they wanted to make, uh, with Scum, they wanted to, like, give you... Uh, pay to win elements. What? Oh, good night, Chippy. Take care. So, at one point they added a feature that wasn't like in the end they they like uh, gave up on it, but they added a, a feature like that makes you stealth. And it was a a, a thing that like um. That was like completely pay to win. Starstream just said, yeah, but I'm not sure, yeah, what? So basically you would pay for, I forgot what it was, like a ghillie suit or whatever. And 
it was a thing, uh, like, you basically go invisible when you wear it. It's, uh, like, you crouch or, like, lay down on the ground and you are invisible. You're not, like, blending in with the foliage. No, you're, you're like, completely invisible. So I didn't like them doing that. Oh, here comes a crate. Star, if you want me to hop out and, like, help you out, um, I'm willing to do that. But I'm just, like, unsure if this guy's gonna come back. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back. He's just, like, rearming. <laughs> Remember, Chad, almost make full contextual comments because of the delay. I mean, yeah, uh, on Twitch, there is no delay. Like, YouTube is just like that. You, you, you gotta have delay. Star knows that. Ooh, another green one. Nice. Let me see what he got, actually. Scan? No? You don't want to scan? It starts scanning and stops? Alright. Ooh! Tree pollen. You couldn't take down an A2 with an Inferno? I was in a Corsair, dude. I'm in an Inferno right now. I was in a Corsair and the A2 fucking flies better than the... than the Corsair. And he kept on ramming me. I kept... I, I, I like kept on evading, but at some point... Oh! Somebody just locked me. I'm thinking that this this guy is back. Is that like a red dot somewhere that I see? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, I think he, he can't share the mission with us. I like that copic panel from the Inferno. What about these here? The flickering screens. <laughs> oh, I was you, John. Okay, that's fine. Like, did you fly? Did you fly the what's it called? The Gladiator, Adam. The Gladiator... Yeah, John, just go for the Hammerhead. I'm just gonna fly security, I guess. Although I'm not... I'm, like, useless against the... Um, the Eclipse. Because he was just, like, booming and zooming. What's my opinion on the Korean patch? A lot of good stuff, but... Super unstable. For the amount of time you gotta spend, yeah, uh, star streams you gotta invite GFA to the to the party. So I started talking like I had like so many things that I wanted to say and I forgot all of them. I was talking about the Gladiator. Yeah. So uh, my first report on the issue console was about the Gladiator turrets causing epileptic seizures in people with like epilepsy um with like if you're a pilot and you have your co-pilot or your gunner firing over you it's not a good time honestly strip it 
yeah, maybe we're gonna strip it in, in a second once we like get all the shit from it. But the, the the things that we're getting are super expensive, so yeah. Rike Ops also wants to join the party. Part high? Sure. Screens reflect the refresh rate. Dude, if we had this like fast of a refresh rate, I'll be happy with it. <laughs> Actually, speaking of which. Zero FPS, seven to eight. Fury also gives near seizures to me. Um... Why though? Because of the guns? It's not as bad as the uh, Gladiator, at least for me. I did have like um, after I, I hurt my head when I was a kid after the uh, accident, I um, I had to like get like epilepsy medication for a year, two years, something like that. I was like young; it was four when it happened. So now, whenever, like, there's flashing lights, I don't have epi epi mm, epileptic seizures, but I do have, like, some mild ones, I guess. And it really hurts my eyes, and my brain st starts to, like, hurt, honestly. <laughs> Starstream is just doing a fucking somersault there. <laughs> Ten points. Oh, somebody locked me. He's back, he's back, he's targeting me. He fired. Shit. I'm gonna try and hit the fucking missile. Right, this one went to the sun, maybe? I think you should be good, Star, but stay evasive, I guess. It seems like it's following still, and they just fucked off, I think. Where is this guy? No, we don't have a snare. If you want to bring a snare, sure. Like, uh, what, what's it called? Somebody just locked me again. I don't see him. Oh, I see him. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. I saw the explosion. Contact. Contact. What the fuck? How did I lose my pip on him? He is coming back to you guys and I cannot do anything about it. Uh, he has the mission, that, that's why he keeps on fighting us. Oh, I see him. I see his uh, trails.
the fuck? What is this? Did he jump? What happened here? Did he torp a- Yeah, he torp the fucking hammerhead. What an asshole, dude. What a fucking asshole. He torps the fucking hammerhead. Because he has the most loot inside of it. Right, maybe something survived. So yeah, the character is also gone. So he was like, if I'm not gonna get anything, you're not gonna get, it, get anything. So he basically like lost 150k. Just to like... Troll us. Is there anything left from the hammerhead? Star, you gotta check because I, I have no idea where it's supposed to be. If you have a marker or, or anything for it. It was, like, around here somewhere. Oh! Is he back? Yeah, he's back. Really? You wanna fight me? Uh, okay! Sure. That was another hit. Whoever just shot him. I'm coming back to you guys. No marker? Shit. You might ram him? Don't ram him. You still have, like, pollen on you. That's some money, right? Yeah, I say you just, like, RTB try to solve that. He's coming back, he's targeting me. No, what? That was Star Streams, what the fuck? <laughs> Alt T. Alt T, thank you. I mean, go kamikaze, but on what? Because, like, he's basically invisible, he's flying without any shields. Not sure what to sell. Okay, so... Where are we? You sell those... Yeah, just follow me. I want to be there with you. Uh, hop to Crusader. We might still get some money out of it. Yeah, I can't find Crusader. Okay, it was right there. I just didn't see it. It's all good, Star. Yeah, just hop to Crusader. We're gonna go to the uh, Brio's, Brio's Breaker's Yard. The final drive on the Inferno right here is completely is completely not scuffed. He screwed himself. I mean, yeah, but he also screwed us, right? Because he knew that he he's not gonna win. I mean, in the end, he could have won, you never know. But destroying the fucking Rex is just like. Uh. I don't like it, is what I'm saying. You would die if you did uh, if you did the hammerhead first. I don't think you would because the hammerhead has, has everything in the in the back, like in the elevator itself. 
So it's like easy. But let's see how much we're gonna make out of all this. No, money maker is not the PvE bounty hunting. Uh, money maker is uh, doing salvage, but not even doing salvage. Um, instead of doing like hull scraping and all of that, you just take the crates out of the ships. So the green crates sell for a lot. Oh, you were inside, John? I thought you were, like, still setting up. Did you manage to grab anything from it, John? Is he saying anything here? No, he's not. John, now that you said it, you're probably gonna jinx it. Where is Salen? Uh, not Salen, uh, Tamar. Should be towards the sun somewhere. Maybe here? Yep. This flickering is just annoying. Yeah, don't say the thir three word. Do I like Japanese food? I don't think I ever tried any Japanese food. I did, like, there is a couple of uh, Chinese uh, restaurants here. Yeah, I know it was all about me. I mean, me. Us. Oh, who this? Oh, nobody. Okay. Whatever. Ah, oh, shit. Where is it now? Alright, there we go. I should try Japanese food. Um, you mean like sushi and stuff like that? There are like some sushi um, restaurants. They're not even fucking restaurants. They're, they're like uh, fast food. So I'm not really trusting them that much, honestly. Can I get some lights on the Inferno? <laughs> Isn't it funny though that it's called Inferno, but it doesn't like like there's no light being made by it? What is this? My flashlight is better than this, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Miko, I really want to fucking play the game, but uh, I guess right now we're, we're lucky because we didn't get, a, well, something that we, we are not going to mention here yet, but uh, yeah. I really have that, like, Star Citizen itch that, I'm, that I want to scratch, but uh, we'll see how long it's going to last. I really like the changes that they made and like some things that they added.
The name of the ship makes no sense. Yeah. The black one should be named Inferno. The black one is the Inferno. The thing will not happen, you think? I don't know. Here are the boys. Here come the boys. What is oh the cutty? Is it the cutty? Yeah. Oh John, uh there's like cutty parts like everywhere around here, so if you need a part for a cutty, <laughs> just grab it. Right cops. Why you do that? Why? No, my shit. The inferno should be black, right? And the iron is white, as far as I remember. Yeah, it's black. See? You know what? Enjoy the. The Star Citizen ASMR. Why is there a torpedo coming in? What is happening? Why is John dead? Um, huh? Wait, John, are you dead dead? <laughs> what? Did he really follow us here? Oh, John is dead dead. Okay. Well, at least John had nothing on the ship, right? Tell me you had nothing. <laughs> okay, Flash. John, you will be remembered. Is this drop coming at me or... Alright, let me see if I can... He followed us? Yeah. Well, like, Bio's uh, yard is like the closest one. Just survive, Star. I mean, you guys are having all the fun. I had, like, the fucking longest and most boring fight in a while. Oh, he's here. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's the C2 guy that's talking us. I'll flew him in for Lancer Max. I mean, you saw what he was doing in the C2 or the A2, whatever. It was that bad that, like, he had to fucking ram me. And he wasn't even that good at ramming, honestly. The desync has been fixed in Star Citizen. There is no desync. Target destroyed.
You think it's a stream snipe? I don't think it's a stream snipe. It's like 54 people watching. I mean, it could be. You know what? Let's check if it's a stream snipe. Let's go to Lyria. No, actually, there's one more on, on Hurston. Only two pe only two places? I think there's like one on Lyria and one on Hurston, right? Not on Hurston, but on one of the moons. Yeah, you should server hop and sell, honestly. If you think it's a stream snipe. Could be, I don't know. I just wanted to be there so I can show the stream. Um how much you made. Because that was like the whole point of the stream. Oh, we're gonna make so much money, right? And then I made no <laughs> I made no money and you're gonna sell the shit and I'm not gonna even record it. <laughs> uh. How many how many missiles did he fire? Did he fire three? If he did, we had enough time to sell the goods on on uh, Brios. We were gonna make money here the night mining the other day. 11 hours in, we earned 180k total with nine people. Wow. <laughs> what, what happened? Where's Star Streams? He jump? Oh, he jumped. Oh, okay. So he's going to Hurston. Are we sure about Hurston though? Because I know about Lyria. I know that like there's a uh, salvage point on Lyria. No, Star is going somewhere else. Do the quantum travel in this ship, Jesus Christ. Calibrate, please. Thank you. What are we doing, Star? Uh, I don't know about Hurston. I'm, I'm sure that like Lyria or... Let me see. Give me a second. Let me check. Uh, reclamation and Disposal Orinth on, on Hurston, maybe. This fucking... God damn it. HDMS, nothing. Aberdeen. No. Is it the same type of a place as uh, as this one is? As the Bios, John? If it is, then we go there. I guess we go there. There should be one more on Lyria. I think it's Lyria, but I'll see in a second. What is happening here? Why is this so trash? Mineral, uh, there's orphanage. Buckets. Wheelers. I think it's wheelers. Let me see. Music, please. Thank you.
Tiens, nous allons. I'm trying to open a Star Citizen wiki link, but it's not working. Let me try another one. No, it's a former underground security outpost. Okay, so it's not that. Is it not Lyria then? I guess it's not Lyria. Maybe Walla? Yeah, Samson and Son Salvage Center is what I was talking about. It's on Walla. So if we don't get... If the Reclamation and Disposal Orinth on Hurston doesn't work, Samson and Son's Salvage Center should work. But if the guy follows us to Hurston, that only means that he is stream sniping. But I don't think he is. Honestly. See Blue Rage. I really want to finish this and, and then... And then hop off. Because I gotta eat, I gotta feed my girlfriend too. Well, not myself, but you know what I mean. You're heading to wall? Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna have like enough uh, juice to do that. Really? Okay, is this a player? I don't think this is a player. Okay, fine. Whatever. Bye. Oh, you wanna fight? Okay, sure. You wanna die? What? Why does he flying? What is this? What is this? Why is this not dead? Is this an address? That fucking... Is this an M50? What is this? Oh, never mind, I can't even see it. Okay, sure. Attack on shield. Do you enjoy that? Target destroy. What the fuck was this? This is the the mighty inferno? This was a cutty! This was a cutlass! Okay, sure. Great. Amazing. Perfect. 10 out of 10. No, the hit uh, registration is, is uh, getting worse and worse with every patch. What am I flying? The Inferno. With a mighty size 7 Gatling gun. Well, not so mighty, as you can see. I'm going to Walla, by the way. Uh, Star, I guess I'll meet you there. Hey, great gamer. I almost said gay dreamer. That's how tired I am.
hopefully we're gonna make enough money to like for you to make up for the 150k that you gave for the for the like an ambition because if not it's it's it was a waste of time honestly what's up astro Futurama? Is that still a thing or are you like rewatching the old episodes? Also, this is the weirdest stream, right? So you have so many like content creators here and we're like all playing <laughs> together, but we're not talking. It's amazing, right? It's a mute uh, um, stream. You have 40 million? How the hell do you have 40 million, Star? Quantum travel complete. What did you do? What did you rob? Um, where's the marker? Oh, okay. S7 water gun, exactly. Quantum travel complete. Now where is that? Should be this one, right? Yeah. Service beacons and you racked up 1.4 million in just a few hours. That's good. Why do you need 38 million? For what? Adam. <laughs> Star has an OnlyFans in the verse. <laughs> So that, there's something here. Looks like a ship. I think it's just like abandoned. Why would you need to eat any jump? You guys are so weird. Right. Um, Star, I'm gonna leave you enough space to land like right in front of it. I'm gonna be above you, I guess. You just run in. You can, like, land where I'm pointing at right now. Oh, no. Actually, I gotta land, too. I wanna record it. Well, not record it, but stream it. Whatever. Right, I landed. Landing. Complete. Landing complete. <laughs> Don't help me like that. <laughs> it's fine, Astro. It's fine. What is that paint job, though? Looks like a Transformers.
No, 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 no strafe, no strafe, strafe to the left, strafe to the left. Not backwards, not backwards, no, 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 not backwards, no, star, no. <laughs> okay, um, forwards and upwards. Huh? He leaves the seat. You leave this. You leave the seat. Star, this is not a good parking. Um. Maybe this is like an MLG tactic. I don't know. I'm hearing a ship. Okay, so this guy is stream sniping. Yeah, he nailed that landing. This guy is stream sniping. Go for his stars, just sell it. Just sell it. I'm gonna try to intercept. Yeah, ghost PR. That's him. That's the guy. Get, wanna get into the fucking thing? No, yeah, yeah, you just take your time, dude. Just take your time, it's fine. I think we're good. On. What? Go for your star. No, he didn't follow us. He didn't follow us. We were not being followed. The guy is fucking stream sniping. Target friendly. Oh no, he's not friendly. Target friendly. Oh, he's gonna try and ram. Shit. He missed. The dude missed. Let's go. Did he fucking ram the... He rammed it. Sold? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking stream sniping, dude. That's what you get. 103k, well, we still, like, lost money. What a fucking asshole, dude. A hundred and four K. The the ship is in like soft death, so maybe you can still But you didn't need to sell me the money, Star. It's fine. Especially not all the money. I guess you can take the <laughs> the cutlass that's there. Let me see if uh, if it has any shields. Can't even target it for some reason. There's more cargo in the cutty. Sure, let's go for it. You want me to open it? Are you inside the cutty right now? I can't see. No, you're not. Okay. Uh, well, this guy is stream sniping for sure. So, I would say if you want to uh, get involved, uh, yeah. Star, you want to pull back? I can open the cutty from from the behind. I can shoot the the ass of it. What's the pilot's name? Um, it's above in the chat. Uh, somebody said it. I forgot. Let me see. Ghost PR. That's, that's his name. Ghost PR. Doors are open? Okay, nice. 
Uh, we just need a ship. Do we have a ship here that, that can carry anything? Or should I go and get one? Post penis more like. <laughs> well, we gotta have it in our uh, in our ship on our grid, star. Yeah, I know it, that it's not yours. I'm just. Uh, what are GFA and Roboy flying in right now? I'm not sure. Oh, these could be the uncut drugs. I mean, if you want to GFA, yeah. If you have, like, a ship close... ...that we don't need to wait for. Or you don't need to wait for, I guess. Not seeing him in, in the list anymore? Let me see. Yeah, I don't see him either. This guy is like playing some music right now. MSR or Carrick size? No, it's well, Cotty MSR. Hello. I can run this way, but I cannot run this way. That's weird. Like, there's no wind here. We need a transport ship here? Yeah. GFA is uh, grabbing one. Hello, Mr. Astro. <laughs> he just steals the ship. Ooh, Avenger. This could work. John, you want to land that here? And we can just, like, pop the crates, like, one by one inside. Unless it's a warlock, then never mind. Oh, hello. Hello, Astro. What's up? I, I, I was trying to make uh, the other guys join the voice. But they didn't want to. Oh. Well, I know Oops. GFA's doing video things, but... Yeah. What crazy shenanigans. Ooh. Hello, Star. That's a party. Voice. Yeah, I can finally get on. Hannah's uh, stopped watching her thing. Nice. I am joining the server. I mean, it's been shenanigans. Can you guys hear them? Because I don't know if I routed it properly. Shenanigans. Grumpy's loved it. Yeah. It's always a bit fun, isn't it? Yeah, this guy was following us the whole entire time. I mean, he pretty much failed. Yeah, he did. But, like, he can't really follow us through uh, quantum travel. Like, he doesn't have a marker on us. So that's why, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm, sh I'm certain now that he was uh, stream sniping. Oh, for sure. But he's not the first order. <laughs> I like the song you did earlier, Grumpy. We need to do a, oh, we need to do a mash up. We should. You could do a bit of beatbox. Have you ever done beatbox? Uh, you're talking in the game, by the way, also. Beatbox? Uh, yeah. well, I mean, yeah. I'm not good at it. 
Do you have a salvage, uh, not a salvage, a multi-tool for me with a tractor beam so I can help you? Yeah, I'm nervous about dropping it. Hang on a second. Uh, what about on here? Uh, maybe inside here in the building itself. Oh, the desync is crazy still. Yeah. So how are you guys? We haven't talked to you Fine, no joy. Uh, oh, oh, Mr. F.A. Hello. This has become, this has become a real gathering. <laughs> um, do we still need the masseur? Because I'm at area 18, but I can bin it off and not get it if we don't need it. I think we've got uh, Jonas here. No, yeah. am I right? Yeah, we've got, we've got Jonas here. Okay. He's got a Titan. Or John, I don't know what to call him. If you park it over here where I am, John. Oh god, I forgot about the stream delay. Hopefully the stream can hear you because I didn't really I could, set up everything. I could hear them talking when I was listening to the oh, stream okay. before I joined. Them. Oh man, I'm still echoey. Have you left why. the um have you left the voice channel in the game? Yeah. Like, toggled it off. Yeah, it's not even, it's not even connected to my microphone. Just, uh, just grab it. Yeah. It's coming. Oh, wait, no, it's Grumpy that's got the echo. Oh. Yeah, I'm but I'm not sure if there's, like, echo on my OBS or... Did you say something for a second? Hello. Hello, yeah, little, little. Cats in the cradle when yeah, I say... I don't know me, what the song me, is. It's me. It's actually me. So I'll just keep it like this, I guess. It hey, it's now. not me. Uh, you got to open the back, by the way. John, thank you. John, as soon as you got that stuff in, see if you can sell it. Oh, no, this no is a robot. It, it could, be, not gonna it could work. be nappies for all we know. I don't think this is going to work. This is a warlock. Yeah, I thought you were bringing a titan. Oh, it's a titan. Is anybody bringing up actual... Uh, I'm grabbing the MSR now. Nice. GFA to the rescue. I'm trying to think what I've got to fight with. I'm not sure. I think they all the fighters have gone. We should do another contract. Although... Oh, man. The problem I is, they blew up. Oh, yeah. Thank you, kind of sir. So, this uh, future armor thing you're talking about, I always, rem I always remember that episode where the dog waits for its owner. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. What, was the, what was the song? It was the Sunshine song, wasn't it? The song that kept yeah. constantly. Yeah. Oh, man. The feels. The echo is gone. Nice. Yeah, I've just started watching the episodes where I think it's when they when Comedy Central had them for a while. You fly the the warlock or what do you want me to do? Did they change something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I brought something. It went widescreen. Is that for people with wider eyes? It's uh, it, it's good, it's all good. Don't worry. We'll get an MSR in a second here. I'm ready to roll. Where am I? You tell us. Who am I? I'm a Krill one. <laughs> What's my name? <laughs> my name is Grumpy. It's an earworm, isn't it? You have, um... I'm, uh... Quickly gonna... It, it's like your more, big uh, hit that you I'm hate sure. now, right? Uh, I guess, yeah. It's the I, uh, one. It's it's like when you get um, you get a really famous for one song, but you've done like seven albums of creative exactly. stuff, and everyone just does this la I, la la, you know, Christmas I, number one. I had, had one of those five years ago. I had one of those here in Serbia. It was so bad. Like I made it just to like uh, make it basically to to become popular because I knew it, like it was a like a um, summer hit basically. 
And it was the like the stupidest song, but it was like sweet and and uh, about love and all of that. And people loved it, and it just like continued fucking following me forever. I had like much more like intelligent <laughs> songs than that one, but um, yeah, like even now people re recognize me because of that one. Well, that's cool. That's a good song. So when you do your next pop concert, you can. Um... Everybody would be like, play that song. And you'd be like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I've got yeah. like 17 other albums I'd like to cover. And they'd, be, and they'd be like, we want that song. Yeah. Exactly what like happened to me. I didn't have 17. I think like back back then I only had three. But albums? Like, yeah. That's three albums more than me. <laughs> I think I'm like at 12 total. Like, including the rap and, and pop music. My God, that's more than the Spice Girls. Well, I mean, I, I, I have, I'm like 36 now, and I was uh, 17 when I started, so I had time. Yeah. Star, when's the Star Streams Polka album coming out? Oh, oh I need <laughs> we to gotta do, do that. Polka. I might make Polka popular again. That's my mission. Again? Yeah, it's always, <laughs> it's, it's, it's popular. Only cool kids like it, though. Yeah, that's why we kids. all love it. Yeah. GFA yeah. can't get enough of polka. Might as well, like, uh, call him Weird Aliankovic uh, for that. Weird Yankovic. What's his name, Yankovic? No, Yank well, Yankovic, but I, I know that people call him Yankovic. It's actually Yankovic because he's, uh, well, his surname is Serbian. He's from oh. the place. Yeah. Hasn't they, ha the hasn't, they, haven't they just done a movie with Daniel Radcliffe playing him? Yeah, I still want to watch it. I, th and I think it's going to be good. Hmm? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it, to be fair. It's out, by the way. It's out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Daniel Radcliffe's out? As Weird Al Yankovic. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, do you know what I'd like to see on these salvage yards? Salvage. Mm. I want to be able to go. I want to be able to walk through all the scrap metal and crawl under it and go. Oh my God! There's an XL one in fairly good condition. I'll take that. Whoa! There's a freelancer Max that you could salvage down there. Yeah. That's Actually, mine. Yeah. Well, it was mine. Is it red? Yeah. That's mine. <laughs> What's that paint job that you have? It was the. Uh, uh, the Chinese New Year. No, what is it? The New Year? Whatever it's called. Oh. From about three years ago. My favourite skin on the Freelancer. Man, I wanna I wanna pilot, I wanna drive this crane as well. Why can't I drive the crane? <laughs> I wanna be able to move the hand around and play I mean like you don't need it. Do you see what I'm grabbing right now? Oh, I don't think I wanna know. It's your whole wing with a bunch of missiles on it. Where are you? Here, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Well, they're stock, so you don't really want them. Did I actually drop it on you? Sorry about that. Hang on. This is his ship as well. Oh. We might get a... No, he fired all the missiles now. Oh wait, no, that's your ship. I started salvaging no, it. Yeah, <laughs> might as what well. Was he, uh, he was in the eclipse. Oh yeah. Well, he kept changing. He was—he couldn't make his mind up. No, he was in the eclipse after uh, the A2. He was—he was literally just sat there waiting for someone to arrive, and for, probably for like hours. <laughs> yeah. Quality gameplay. <laughs> Little do you know, there's a gang turning up. Yeah, well, all I know is that his ship is now in bits on the floor. And that we bagged some salvage. I'm just jumping to Samson and Sons now, by the way. My oh, god, you nice. you were only 200k away ages ago. I had to land and then do the old reclaiming and stuff. <sighs> there was a vulture upside down in my hangar. There was all kinds of problems. Still, wow. Dude, that vulture's been following me. It's the one you melted, it's got to be. It's like a stream sniper vulture. He he wants something. Yeah, he wants to strip you bare. Damn. I mean, I wouldn't say no. What's up? Who's firing right now? What's happening? Moi. 
Okay, my, my guy just fell for no reason. <laughs> Are you having like so issues while walking around this place or running around this place? Sorry. Yeah, it's fun. No, so I, I can only walk in. I want a love affair with a vulture. Mm. I can only run in uh, one shipping. direction, <laughs> which is weird. Oh, do you know that you can take oh that my off? Gun, the gun's firing by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Let's make is it, it even... firing on your screen? Yeah. Oh, you took it off? <laughs> it's firing! It shot me! It's shooting me! <laughs> you killed it! <laughs> Amazing. Oh no my way. god. <laughs> no. Uh, I have a minute left. Oh my god. Oh. How do I how do I inject you with this? <coughs> Middle button. Uh right mouse button, I think. Yeah, 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 right mouse. Oh my god. Oh, I think I just kicked you instead. <laughs> <laughs> A minute. What? Oh, I didn't bodily harm to you? Oh, did it work? Can you awake? Uh I, I think I am. Seen that. <laughs> 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 you should have seen it from my ankle. He literally picked it up with the tractor beam and it shot him in the face. I was about... What the fuck? I was about to rotate it, but then he shot me. <laughs> it's still going. I lost yeah. the tractor beam. It was uh, it was on the ground here. Uh, oh, I think yeah, it's, it's gone. Uh, it's gone, yeah. Oh my god, that was so funny. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> A little help. Um, how do I help oh. you, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I guess I deserve that. How do I help you, though? You Are you can't, dead? I'm dead. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna loot you then. <laughs> Is that the correct thing to do? <laughs> the tower you... just shooting his corpse. It's yeah. Amazing. It's so good. Oh, <laughs> oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> I've just landed, Star. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Uh, I, I don't think we have an, another multi-tool, though. That's the issue. I have one. So okay. Give it to you. Just don't get close to the angry cannon. Gatling gun thingy. Man, that stream sniper didn't kill me once. But <laughs> one times ridiculous gun thing. Someone throw it into the scrap. Come on. <laughs> oh, get rid of it. God. Get rid of it. Or just leave it there forever. It'll be there for months. Yeah. P.S. Or just point it best. out to the sky. Point it at the sail terminal, <laughs> so no one can go near it. <laughs> yeah, but we won't be able to see. Yeah, uh, but we'll know. We'll know. In our hearts. Grumpy, do you want this tractor beam so you can you can do it? I I don't think that I should. Hold, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know that I'm gonna go and get that Gatling again. <laughs> And yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. <laughs> this is what happens when you I put think it's going to fall through the ground, together. though. It's it gets dangerous. I don't know. Can you, can you, can you get it? I don't see it. It's, it's right here. Hang on. Let's go in, in, the, in the building. Because uh, in the building, it's not going to fall through. Good shout. I think when me and GFA finally got in the same area together the other night on Star Citizen, I, I was I was loopy at that point. Oh god! But you were still trying to like make money, I guess. But I was trying to fit fuel pods from a Starfarer into an MSR, and then we ended up yes, surfing yeah, with you. our tractor beams. Really interesting, just to say the least. 
Do you like maybe have a meth pen on you? Uh, yeah. All right, because I'm, I'm gonna almost. need one. Because I, I died again. Oh. Yeah, oh, I just stepped on the ground. That will, that will do it to you. If it makes you feel any better, I've currently lost my mouse in game, so I can't. There we go. <laughs> Thank Wait. you. You're standing up fine on my screen. <laughs> You're looking around like an NPC. <laughs> No, I'm here. I'm. I'm. You just revive, revive me. I did. Well, I'm. I'm alive again. I don't know. Absolute I shenanigans. I, I have no idea. Up. Okay. Great. Oh. <laughs> I've got. I've got a clip of this. You. You. You walked down the stairs, looked around like an NPC, and then just stood up and walked off. And you were like, "Thank." <laughs> <laughs> no idea what happened. Just add some ob oblivion music, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna dash because we've got to go, go and up in the morning, but I'm gonna stay Alrighty. tuned in to see how much you make. Alrighty, should be Ooh. fast. And we'll have to do this properly at some point. Yeah, I'm down. Hundred percent. Yeah, I'm down. You're down. We're all down. Oi! Oh oi! 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 Adios. Bye 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 bye. See you, Star. Adios. How do I have a backup multi tool but not a backup track? <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I have I have a salvage beam from Stars as uh, loot. <laughs> so I don't know if that's helpful at all. John is back with a Valkyrie. I love the Valkyrie. Not a Terrapin, though, is it? Oh, it's a Terrapin? Okay, never mind. Terrapin. I just saw the nose. I'm obsessed with the Terrapins right now. I think it's because it's like, because I've not really flown it or been in it before. I'm like, oh, it's new. Who but it's actually kind of old. Scorpius. Scorpius. Do I need a Scorpius? There's one down here. I don't know whose it is. Maybe John's? A Scorpius? Yeah. Just landed here. Uh huh. I didn't like see or hear anything. Uh, okay, this is a Scorpius, isn't it? The one that looks like the X-wing with the yeah, yeah, yeah. wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was tripping. Yeah. Just sort of his, his wings folded, just chilling here. Oh, it might be Rycops. Rycops is here. I didn't realize. Could be. CS card. I'm gonna end the stream soon. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm about to eat. No, Gotta walk the dogs. No, no. Okay, <laughs> be a boyfriend. Oh, my bad. It's a fury. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> is it? <laughs> All right. I'm dumb. It, it, it's it's an it's an easy mistake well, to make. I like to check. You know. Yeah. Fair. You know, as someone, as I know you, you're someone who gets lost around Grim Hex. It's true. Half Hex Navigate. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> right. Reset my spawn. Almost it's done. Right. It just means you're, you're not an illegal person. BFA is a good boy. <laughs> Follows the rules. Follow all the rules. Never goes to Grim Hex. Ah, oh, shit. I have a rogue box doing things yeah, to your uh, MSR. I did see that. <laughs> Switch go flying in. You know what's funny? I, I can only walk. Oh, no, I, I can run now. Sometimes yeah. I just, like, get stuck and I can't run. All right, this should yeah. be the last box. There we go. You should be able to sell it now. It, does it have to be me because it's my ship? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, it is all locked. What do you mean locked? It's got the little padlock symbol next to it. It says cannot sell here. Uh, what are the... So you've got Dockle. So I think this all drugs. You've got Dockle, Zip, Glow, Freeze, Uncut, Slam, Thrust. And then three that are like right, right, right to white. I can't read them either. Yeah, I think it's you can't even sell can't those. Sell. Yeah. Yeah, you got and you got stims, distilled spirits. You can usually sell distilled spirits and process food, but I think you mm. have to go to a normal terminal for those ones. Mm. But they're not worth a lot. Yeah, you got all the drugs, all the stuff that you can't sell. I mean, surely there's somewhere to sell them. But when I when I looked at this, there is just and Ash, you know this because you went around. Oh, the I went literally absolutely everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I think I spent an hour trying to actually go around absolutely everywhere. And they just seem uh, unsettable. All right, just leave so I can leave the Gatling inside. <laughs> Put your men inside the MSR. All right, I'm out. You out? Oh yeah, okay. Imagine someone like. There's, a, there's an unmarked ship here. Not, not one of us just turned up. Yeah, I saw it. It looks like a port. <laughs> We've got Rude Boy in the air. Three clicks above us. I think I saw. Not, yeah, there's another Gatling here. You guys want to have fun with the Gatling? We could always go burp. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> Imagine someone's just on a little delivery mission as well. Like, oh, I'll put this in the... Oh. Just sees a floating Gatling gun going <laughs> <laughs> I'll just head down to Samson and Sons to sell some of my... It's so funny. <laughs> I don't know, but it's fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Doop. Doop. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Are you alive? Yeah, still. Okay, good. For now. Imagine chucking two of these into like the cargo hold of like an 890 <laughs> or something, just seeing who gets out alive. Or the hangar, the hangar bay. <laughs> that again. <laughs> it, oh, it's no. just me stepping on the ground, by the way. And I'm alive again. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Nowhere near. Oh hey, my here's God. your multi tool. Oh, you, you, you want me to drop you the multi tool inside, maybe? No, no, you can keep it, it's all good. You, I have got back You don't want to come inside? To... Come, come inside. No? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me go and sell my commodities. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't. it's trying to shoot my toes off, but it's not working. Is it not working? We can fix that. Maybe rest it on top of the terminal. <laughs> that would be the most frustrating thing. I think this is going to be the last thing I'm going to do in this game. Oh. Right, so. Shit. You said a trap. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Home Alone. <laughs> it's like Home Alone. <laughs> ah. It's so jank. It needs to be perfect. Wait, don't we know, uh, is it Scrapper Harley? Aww. Oh. Trying to take yeah. him out. I thought we Ow. 
I, I actually think I placed it this time. I can I will heal you this time. This time I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just watch you, you shoot yourself in the forehead again. <laughs> no, I didn't place it. Uh, okay, like this. Please stay in the yes, Stay crouched. I think that might be the response. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think this is the best that I can do. So like. Oh, we're the sticky bandits. We're gonna go get Kevin McAllister. Oh, wait. <laughs> Why is it so top? Oh my god, this is good. Don't get hit. I fell through the world and now I'm back. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I guess. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, guys. Oh, it's going crazy in there. No, Imagine I... coming down to sell your stuff, and this is what <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's glorious, honestly. <laughs> oh, what happened to it? It oh. just oh. I've just I've just done the same thing that happened to you. I've just died on the spot. No, you're standing there. Stairs. Yeah, oh, I just died. Like an NPC. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm dead on my screen. <laughs> though. I'll be alive in a second. I'm sure. Yeah, you're basically just standing right next to me, and I'm dead next go. to you. And, and I'm alive. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Ooh, Ash, what did you come down in? A hawk. That's a little cheeky number. Uh, I, I got a bail, guys. My uh, food is almost here, so I got to hop off. But thank you for joining. It was amazing. We got to do this, like, intentionally. Yeah, 100%. I think maybe once the event's over, so in like next week yeah. when it's a bit more stable, let's arrange a, a night and we'll all get together and do some shenanigans. Sure. Alrighty, I'm Perfect. down. See you guys. Thanks, dude. Have a good Bye. one. Thank you. Later. Bye. So, yeah. That's it for the, today, guys. We made, well, some money. It wasn't the, the stream that I planned, honestly, but it was super fun, especially the ending. So, yeah. Good night, guys. I gotta go. I gotta uh, walk the dogs. I gotta be a boyfriend. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. And mwah, bye.